Do it. So basically, you guys know you're in the dungeon, right? You guys are in prison. You guys all got that? So in I've prison? heard. You're having a good old time in prison. So your time in the prison cells of Conqueror's Foothold is trying to end. As are your lives. Like all those deemed nemesis of the Legion of Dust, you are mm. set to be executed. To feed the vampires who com- command, for- command the fortress. On the night before the full moon, you have been moved to Executioner's Chamber, next in line to be sacrificed. But what your captors don't know is that each of you has made cleric Alanti. In exchange for your lives, the retrieval of the legendary relic known as the Herophant's Chalice, you have been promised various favors from the Order of the Five Sacraments. A vampiric sect that opposes the Legion of Dust th- thirst for conquest. During your brief time in the Conqueror's Foothold, Alati has been able to communicate a plan of escape by sending messages. Message spells that various into the tonight marks the night that the plan comes to fruition. So basically, you guys are about to get executed, all of you guys. You're in a dungeon. It's a night of full moons. So you guys got that? You're about to die? I love it. That's die, that's right? the best pl- best way to start a campaign. Is all right. You're all about to die. <laughs> what yeah, do you do? Vampires. They need blood. <laughs> what do you do? They're not barbaric. <laughs> they don't just go out and just bite you. No, they gotta clean and execute and that's just true. put all the blood in the bowl and they share it. <laughs> the I have bowl. a question. <laughs> yeah. I have a question. Do vampires drink other vampires' blood? Why not? Blood is blood. Good to know. Okay. Um, like, I, I assume like, if you got vampires in New York City, something. Rats don't drink the blood of rats. <laughs> um, I well, I mean that's the thing from Twilight. There's the there's the family of vampires that like only eat deer or something. I don't know. Um, so I assume Ken and Nick, you guys are also playing vampires. I am playing an orc. Oh, I am playing a vampire. I knew yep. one of you was playing a vampire. Yes. Well, uh, so but, so you guys are all in a cell together. It's the middle of the night, and then you guys are about to fall asleep because the, in that morning. This is going to be your death. So while you guys are all uh, trying to sleep, knowing that death awaits in the morning, during your night, you guys, and you guys are going to rough sleep, and you guys have feelings of chill and nightmares. And during that nightmare, you guys notice you got, you got, each one of you are having your own vision. You guys are having a vision of what is probably reflecting what is to come in your life and the mission that you've been given by God. So right now, you guys are all trying to sleep. All of you guys are having a vision. Unfortunately, one guy is just knocked out cold, and he just doesn't he doesn't notice the visions happening. So two of you guys are having a vision. One of you guys is knocked out cold. Let, let me guess. Do I know any? Do I notice anything about this guy who's knocked out cold? Is his name Kyle? <laughs> or no? I'm sorry. No, that's not his name. <laughs> I don't know, but you guys are knocked out cold, and uh, you guys, you guys, are, you guys don't know. You guys are all having visions. All you guys notice you're going to sleep, and then uh, you in your vision you wake up. To what uh, to being in the woods, so I'm gonna transfer the map. You guys all wake up, even though you guys are having vision. Wait, how do I fucking drag you guys? Uh, uh well, I also I just sent you my token on uh, on Discord. I realized I didn't send that to you the other day. Okay, um, we'll you, pay you, got you guys in the new map yet? Yes, yep. Mm-hmm. So, you guys in the woods, don't scroll up. You guys are at the bottom of the woods, don't you scroll up. Whoops. Up. It starts uh, scrolled up. Fucking god, just scroll down. <laughs> <laughs> that, that you guys the... wake up in the I woods. I didn't see anything. I didn't see a single and thing. You guys feel different. You each look at each other. Go like, who are you? So do we? Because do we recognize each other? Up. Like, do we know that these are the people that we were just in prison with not too long ago? No, these are okay. all new people. Gotcha. You guys do not know each other. You guys look at each other like, who are you? I was just in the cell. Mm-hmm. And you guys notice that you guys have memories of other people. You, these are not your memories. 
And I, in one second, if you guys take a look at your character sheets. Uh -oh. Give me one second. This is going to take a bit. <laughs> is it one second or a bit? Now I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> I need answers. <laughs> this need one answer. was... Where's Rachel? Wait, who's a warlock? Kenny is a warlock. Indeed. So if you guys take a look here. This is Kenny. Okay. You should have something new in your character. Uh, you should have a new character. Ooh. Hmm. Oh, cool. And they already had it somehow. <laughs> yeah, you guys all had it already. So do you guys see a new character sheet? Yes. Yep. Who are you guys? Uh, I am Vona, Butcher of Magan. Uh, I am Marvin Fenn, Dusk Apostle. I'm Gar, Headstrong Brute. <laughs> <laughs> zug, zug. Okay, so you <laughs> guys work. somehow had a vision of the past, and you guys are living the lives of your ancestors. Hmm. And in the past right now, you guys... <laughs> You guys travel to the body of your ancestor having that were on a mission to stop uh stop a war uh what you guys call what's this guy's call? You guys are on the race to Orkaza because Kamuna won the uh, elder of the River Herald priest has gone rogue and has traveled to Try to take over the city and become uh, and control the mortal sun. So right now, what's happening is in the past, you guys are following the legend of what happened to the uh, to to the race for the Orkaza, which ah, has the treasure okay. of the treasure of the what's this name? Immortal sun. Basically, you go into a legendary city of Orkaza, which has immortal sun. Right now. One of the rogue people that uh, of the River Hell tribes are trying to get there and unleash great power to the plane. So you guys are warriors right now. You guys are heroes trying to stop this villain. So let me drag you guys onto the screen. Or what you're saying is it's just like my regular life. It's just like a regular commute on the subway, you know, got to kill a couple people, trying to save the world, normal stuff. Yeah, I've definitely are... seen those people on the subway. Yeah. You guys are heroes. Can you guys move the tokens I dragged out? Or no. Uh, I don't think we can add to the map. Um, I did. I just did. Whoa. Oh, actually, yeah, I think we can drag it from yeah, there. Yeah, just drag your tokens out, because I don't know what... Unfortunately, I'm nowhere near as handsome as I am usually. <laughs> Nick, drag yourself out. I did. No, I'm the one who hasn't. Where do we drag it from? Do you drag it from the bio... Yeah, um, you just click on the thing on the if you see the list before you even yeah. open the character sheet, just drag, um, drag the name onto the page. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. It's not. Uh, it's not giving me anything. Have you tried? Oh, there. Yeah, nope. I was clicking. I was clicking on the picture instead of the name. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because stupid me, I figure you want the token. You're gonna click the image. What do I know? I know. <laughs> so if you guys look at inventory, I'm gonna ask. Tell you guys to so get have some new stuff. Great. So, for the monk, what type of weapon does monks use? Um, they're proficient with all simple weapons as well as short swords. So anything from like a okay, quarter so staff, short sword. Bio, you have a short sword. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna look up short sword and the stats. Now I'm gonna. Five e. So you have a short hold the short sword. Say that again. It's called the sword of feast and famine. Sword of feast and famine. Yes. All right. So the damage on so the stats is I'll give you a. So you are proficient with it, of mm -hmm. course. So as a plus, you got plus two. Uh, to hit. 
And then the damage is 1d10. Whoa. Big dick damage. Yes. It's not going to be... Um, it so does that still weapon, count as uh, does that still count as a monk weapon for my for all my monk stuff? Yes. Okay. Cool. And then for Mister Brute over there. Sucks. Uh, what? Wait, you're Barb, right? Yes. Blub. B L U B. No, Barb. Oh. Yes, it's a homebrewed class. <laughs> yep. I know. I thought that was his name. <laughs> Hello, my name is Blub. New character idea for later. <laughs> oh, did not mean to do that. So your weapon you have for the headstrong ogre, he had, uh, I mean, orc, he has a blood forged battle axe. Oh. Wait, let me see what's the base have for battle axe. Uh, I think it's 1d12 base. Or no, it seems a, a little high. That's a great axe. Battle axe is... The one-handed variant. Yeah. Because uh, yeah. the, the great axe is the... Um, the D12 is the Barbarian die, because it's your hit die, and it's your Great Axe damage. Mm. Yeah, well, it's a Bluff Horse, a great battle axe. Okay. <laughs> it's a great battle axe. Phenomenal. The Listen, best. We, got, we got the best battle axes here in Ixalan, all right? We're going to Orozco. <laughs> we're going to get the Immortal Sun, and then we're going to build the wall. <laughs> uh, what's the stats on a uh, fucking Great Axe? Uh, just 1D12 damage. Slashing. Two-handed. Heavy, so, actually, I believe is the... For the Mr. Orc, because it's a Blood Forge, it has a plus one to hit, but the damage is uh, 2d7. Fancy. Uh, where's the next page? Big dick damage. Angstra. Why does it say Bluff Battle Axe? Uh, I misheard what you said, so I'm like, well, <laughs> fuck. Hey, so, uh, yeah, I, I thought you said the Blood Forge <laughs> Battle Axe. I'm like, holy shit, don't light that thing on fire. Yeah, yeah it's Blood Forge. He said Blood. blood forge. Yeah, Blood. blood okay. Let me just find the damage for 2d8. Let's go with that. That sounds more battle y. <laughs> Are you yeah, messing with it? Okay, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, you have your battle axe, and now for the mage. I mean, warlock. Potato, potato. <laughs> Give me one second. I already. You have. Hmm, what should I call this? Staff of Domination. Ooh. I... Wait, quarterstaff? No, Staff of Domination. Staff That's of Domination. That's magic item. Domination. Okay. So what it does is... Um, oh, shit. It's a, you're a warlock, right? So let me check how do I make the stats for you. I'm making it right now as you talk. I'm trying to think what type of things you have. Can it be assumed that I'm already pack bonded with this weapon? Yes. Okay. Thank you, oh, Sensei. Oh, attack of the blaze. Got to have it. So you like melee range. Right? Yeah, he's a, he's a get up in there kind of guy. Mm -hmm. uh, Staff of Domination actually has a blade on it, and so... Mm. Well, shit. Wait, Scythe. what does pack of the blade do for Warlocks? Do you guys get better melee attack or do. Um, I have improved pack, so it would give me plus one act to hit, plus one to damage if it already didn't. Mm -hmm. um, and I can just summon it with an action. Like it, when I stop using it, I can like put it away into some different plane of existence, and uh, at any point, just like pull it back to me. So what the staff domination does is you can use it as action every turn to dominate a creature, so you control a creature for a turn. And then the other benefit is you get another plus one to a hit. Cool. Just for your character in general. Awesome. So when you have it in your hand, basically, whack someone. When you have it equipped, whack someone, plus one hit. 
Or you could cast, you could whack someone and then fucking dominate them. Oh, so I have to smack them in the head with the stick and they become dominated? Yes. Alright, kinky, I like it. <laughs> okay, I'll never check which type of damage it has. Hey man, whatever you're into, I don't judge. <laughs> what weapons do you use as a, what's your pack of blade weapon? Pack weapon. 1d8? It's, yeah. Uh, I'll give this 1d10. Shiny. Uh, so plus one, and then one d ten damage, and uh, if you whack someone with a head, you could dominate it. Okay. Uh, they will have to do a wisdom check. Let's see, they have to get above sixteen. Do I still bludgeon them by like? Do they still take damage when I try to dominate them? Yes. Awesome. If you succeed, you get to control them for one turn. Meaning on their turn, you get to decide your action. Okay. Okay. So everyone got their weapon now. Yes, sir. Okay, so, okay, now, your goal is to get to Orcas, so you're running right now, so what do you do? Um, I run. I run, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> you just told me what I do. You tell me I'm running. Of course I'm going to be running. Move, like, a few squares at a time. Hmm. Luckily, I forgot which one was mine. There it is. <laughs> you should only be able to control yours, so if you box yes. select, you'll only, you'll get yourself. Too okay. much DMing. Nothing there, nothing there. How do I turn off the opacity? Why do I still see opaque stuff? You want it to be opaque or transparent? I want to see you guys in bold for some reason. I see you guys as transparent. I mean, like... Uh, it's probably because you're on the wrong layer. Switch to the token yeah. layer. You're probably on the map layer or something. Oh, I am. Okay, I'm on token layer now. And we are no longer... Okay. At this point, you're about to turn around uh, out of this tree you notice two you notice you see what you see up front what do you want to do right now we see what up front what do you see on the map okay so we do well i mean you told us not to scroll so uh i see <laughs> two little, little blue guys yeah look like frogs uh so what are, do you want to do they don't look uh they don't like you There's are they many, uh, <laughs> have they noticed us uh they do mm. Are they, they haven't attacked yet, but you're waiting to see what you're going to do. Are you going to try to continue the attack, or are you going to turn around? Am I familiar and, with what kind of creature they are? Yes, they are, uh, what you call merfolk. Um, I looked to my group. Does anybody speak merfolk? No. I shake my head. have loot? <laughs> so only Kyle was here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> do they have uh are they like carrying weapons what are they what are they what do they look like do they look like they're ready for battle or are they just like merchants right. traveling on the road one second what, ready, ready to knock some heads but you know i gotta make sure that the heads need to be knocked first uh do you want to make a perception check yeah I, you know what well, i would love to make a perception <laughs> check that's a good perception check. <laughs> you just see them just staring at you. <laughs> you can, in fact, see them. <laughs> uh, I, take a, I take another sort of half a step forward and see how they react. Do they, uh, do, they, they, do, they do anything to that? Do they give a shit? They look like they're about to... Uh, they, they look like they're about to cast something. Hmm. Um, I... Um, on that, I, when I see them staring down at us, beginning to cast, I um, you see that the five tips of my right hand uh, glow black, and uh, channels to the center of the palm, and a black sphere opens up, and I smash it. And my staff comes out. I go, guess we're doing this. <laughs> okay, that, <laughs> uh, that to them uh, looks like a threat. So we oh, are. Oh yeah, gonna... no, it sounds a lot like a threat. <laughs> <laughs> we, are, we are going into. Initiative order. Swimmer. Gosh, you never really think how bad those names were, huh? <laughs> <laughs> they were really good. <laughs> how do I get the initiative chart to come out? Uh, click the. It's like up at the, the top. Little, little I think. clock. Top left. <laughs> Should be like a clock. Oh, I see now. Okay. Uh, uh, and, uh, these guys are going to run. My shorts are cool. Let's battle. I hope you <laughs> don't come out. 
my shorts are cool. Let's fight each other with our slave creatures. Uh. God damn it, they got a four. Oh, uh, yes. I don't know how to change the name, so right now they're cool. No, no, my folk is pretty good. Yep. Okay. I thought they were all called um, Wu, Sensei Wu. <laughs> uh, actually, for all of you guys, uh, under the chat window, you can click, see where it says as? You can click that uh, yes. drop down and you can change, like, if I want to talk, like, <coughs> this is out of character because I'm talking as myself, or I can switch and be like, hello, mm -hmm. I am a monk and speak in character depending on who you select. Um, probably most beneficial for you, Wu, if you want your roles to not come up and say Sensei Wu. That's like a, if you're, obsessive like i am um <laughs> i i will not fault you if you don't change it every time you're gonna make a roll but i have autism so i have to do that <laughs> oh and also did Wu tell you guys about um advantage toggling advantage on your character sheet uh i see it up there i figured it up gotcha i did i do not uh, so was that Nick? I don't actually don't know your voice. Nick. Yet. You're Nick. Okay. Um, in the top right corner of your character sheet, you'll see like core, bio, spells, and then a little gear. Mm -hmm. Click the gear, and then the second line down on the right column should say roll queries. Change that to advantage toggle, and that should give you three buttons up top uh, to the left of where it says like core. You'll then have advantage, normal, and disadvantage, which allows you to roll with advantage, disadvantage, or normal. Okay, so Vona... Butcher Magan, you're first. What we like to do? I'm gonna, I'm gonna run in there. I'm getting ready. Somehow, even, you know, okay. <laughs> What's your movement speed? I am actually very fast. Uh, I have a base 40 move speed. However, I'm going to spend a key point to take dash as a uh, bonus action, and I'm gonna mm -hmm. get up to here. That's my turn. Actually, oh, I just realized I don't oh. need to. Do that as a bonus action, so never mind. <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> I'm retcon already. You can always I'm dashing throw something in there. at them. I don't have anything to throw, unfortunately. Ah, dang. If they throw something at me, I can deflect missiles, but I don't. Uh... Actually, you know, are there like any rocks on the ground I could I could pick up and huzz at them? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Sensei. Next is... <laughs> <laughs> that would be a no, my friend. That's fine. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, uh, real quick, if I turn around, there's no fourth unconscious person back there, is there? No. <laughs> yeah, somehow one of the... Okay. Press R. Yeah, I'll make it here. <laughs> okay. Uh, I move about 30 feet. And... Wait, wait, wait. Do you move about 30 feet or do you move exactly I 30? move exactly okay. 30 feet. <laughs> and then, uh, thankfully, I go. I do not have to shoot through you. I will uh, sh summon some energy through my hand and Eldritch Blast on on the left. Oh and, my god, Eldritch Blast. And, oh. and then I kill my friends. No! Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> this is we're off to a great start. The I first attack do. roll um, is so a critical fail. Is, you cast that Eldritch bat Blast, but somehow you tripped. You fell. <laughs> On my and unconscious fourth ally. Right here. <laughs> which, in response... Uh -oh. Because you hit this tree, it went to the... These guys pop oh, up. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, wait. Which god do I serve? Oh, Hexblade, damn it. <laughs> Is Wu's face dancing for anyone else? Oh, he's so, yeah. he's so excited that I rolled that one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. I never want this to end. Look at how good that looks. Oh my god. Has, it has a bunch of small pixels popping up, so it looks like little lights. <laughs> you just like, they rolled the one. Let's go, boys. <laughs> like, I am okay, the GM. So these guys are going to go into initial order. So. Wow. Good roll. Oh, thank God. They tell me I'm a That's fun. Man, that's sounds... How do sounds... I add them to the initiative order? By... Uh, I need to know how you're doing that camera thing. It's really <laughs> satisfying. <laughs> you can, uh, I think you if you drag one of them onto the turn tracker, um, and then you can manually change the initiative number once they're in there. Or right-click them and hit add turn at the top of the order. Ah, that's, okay. there you go. Or, what did I get? A five? Mm -hmm. Yep. 
So no, I think are... I think they got a they got a one, right, guys? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, I don't think that affects much. <laughs> In either case, they're going last. <laughs> <laughs> Question of who's gonna shoot me first, the blue guys or the green guys? <laughs> okay, now continue. Um, I don't believe I have any bonus actions yet. Mm, no, I do not. So Next up, Angarth's turn. <laughs> Useless mage or <Earth>, warlock? <laughs> <laughs> I, I take out my axe and charge for it and go thirty feet. And raw, raw black sheep. I mean, mm. <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> wait, what? <Okay. laughs> so, where are you going? I go right beside you, and there's nothing really I could do, so I end my turn. Oh, uh, you, you only move how much feet? 30. Don't barbarians have 40? Mm, they do, Not... but I don't want to waste it yet. I, I think yeah. it's just when you're raging, right? Oh yeah, that's right. I, I didn't I pop rage it was when yet. You were naked. Let me double check. I know I monks they... have unarmored no. movement. I know. I think I think barbs also have the same. That sounds right, but I haven't played a barbarian in a long time. Oh, it's a bonus action. Look at that. The orc can move up to the. Wait, what's a bonus action? Oh yeah, the rage. Yeah. Yes. Well, but you have a finite amount of rage. You have three. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm. Yeah, no, so at 5th level. At 5th level, you get the increased have... speed. Oh, is it 5th level? Whoa, yeah. that's far. I mean, it's next Oh, wait, level. I mean, we're starting at 4th. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, we're starting at 4th. <laughs> I mean, well, we're starting at 4th, so it's nice. Uh, but, yeah, there's always, like, uh, you could always prepare an action if you don't want to use an action. Mm, well, you could prepare a reaction. Yes. Mm. Remind wait, me how could... reactions work. What happened? Uh, you you can like ready an action and say if something moves next to me, I'm gonna hit it in the face. Yes, that yes. is the traditional barbarian one to do as well. <laughs> All right, well, I stand behind beside him and I take a reaction to do what? When to take a swing at anyone that gets nearby? There you go. Got it. Got it. End my turn. So because of what this warlock did. <laughs> These puppies are happy to be awoken. So what you're gonna do is they fly forty feet. Unfortunately, they barely. You are too far away. So we're gonna fly up here. We're gonna. F- so they end their turn here, angry at you. <laughs> Since they just woke up, they're kind of groggy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Ah, oh, we're cut off from our monk friend. Mm-hmm. So the druids, well, the merfolks are angry that this guy is coming up, charging up at him. All I did was <laughs> run. I'm just, I'm looking to get the cardio, you know, get, my heart, get the blood pumping. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm just working out, guys. Lay off. <laughs> How do I add abilities? Add abilities? I don't like that. Mm. <laughs> Wait, do you say, how do you give uh, creature spells? Because that's the one that I forgot. Uh, you you can. It takes a really long time. You could just go to Compendium instead. Yeah. You don't have to like post everything you do. If you say you're casting Magic Missile, like we all know what Magic yeah, Missile so you could is. Yes, you could also just manually just roll dice. That's too much work. <laughs> you just have to like, slash R that like that's how you roll dice. <laughs> it's far too much work. Let me go to the compendium for about five minutes. <laughs> so these guys don't like that you guys are coming closer. One of them casts a spell on you. Hopefully this works. <laughs> How does this work? God damn it. So one of them casts Entangle around you. All right. So what Entangle does is weeds pop up. Creatures in the area when you cast a spell must succeed a saving throw or be restrained by entangling plants until the spell ends. 
So strength check. You have to succeed a. Where's the check set? I think you have to make one up. The DC? It would be... uh, DC 12. Okay. Blam! Guess Ooh. who's restrained, baby? <laughs> Single digit rolls tonight. Let's go. Mm. So, uh, how do I make this area entangled? Like, you could like it? draw a box, do like oh. one of these, and then say like that area is now entangled. If you, I think if you hold shift, it aligns to yeah. If you hold shift, it'll align to the grid. It's twenty, so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wait, that's not twenty. <laughs> <laughs> Like, uh, well, you said you could that, if you that put thing. it on the Thank you. Just draw that box for me. <laughs> Where is it? Is it like here? Am I on the edge of it's it? On Am top I on... of you. Dead center? Yeah. Okay. But you're not in it. You're at the edge of it. Okay. So you're fucking entangled now. Yeah, man. <laughs> Feels bad. Well, I mean. Yeah. So the other guy, <laughs> his buddy stares at you and laughs. <laughs> he just stares and laughs. And he's like, ha 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 ha. And that's his full action. And he does that. <laughs> <laughs> he, laughs, he laughs for six straight seconds. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh and then God. he stops abruptly. <laughs> <laughs> When Wu smiles, I get scared. <laughs> <laughs> I know, my, my fear was, uh, he's like, I can't kill you in the prequel. Ah, this is what I'll do. <laughs> now I, now I can you. kill you. I'll, kill you. <laughs> I'll embarrass you. Oh, and I'll kill God. your ancestors. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, so this guy comes up to you. Let me just... He's like, you've been a bad boy. Oh. And this one comes up and just whacks you with his staff. <laughs> oh, All of that was way too sexual. Oh. Oof. Wow. He just got, he was just so hyped that he's. Dude, he's, he's critting me. Hey, he yeah, no. Somehow, he just, he somehow just trips and go, falls in the <laughs> <laughs> So it's our rule on retconning and snitching on our teammates. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what happened? <laughs> uh, technically, uh, he he rolled since I'm restrained by the entangle. He would have advantage on the attack roll, so that indeed. he that would yeah. be a, a twenty. So oh, he crit you instead. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Because yeah, there's two numbers. He, actually, he managed to roll a one and a twenty somehow. So yeah. he also managed to get a zero on his die. That's impressive. Hmm. Zero on which die? I'm not sure, but there's a four plus a zero in there. Something's not right. That seems like a messed up character sheet. Huh, one second, and I mean, we do. <laughs> it should be a d4, I think. Yeah, there's a d4. I just realized the, the camera is actually making a small noise, and that's what that thing has been. Because <laughs> I hear a small little beep. Let me review that. So it's... His camera looks like that, that he's in a transmission. See, the picture kind of looks like they have four legs. And I, I like to think it's like the Lunara ult from Hots where he just jumped up, tried to shoot him, and just landed in the bramble. <laughs> I'm going to just redo this. <coughs> <laughs> but uh, if that's all that happens, can the next turn it go while you fix that? 1d4. <laughs> So you got hit with six. All right. <clears throat> we take six damage. Six so damage. I mean, you're not at 21. I don't know what's your HP at. 25 now. Okay. So you took six. Yes, sir. Okay, let me move him back. Since... <laughs> 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 your turn, Vona. All right, I'm going to use my action to try to make a strength saving throw to get out of this entangle. Okay, 12. Uh, I'm sorry, a strength check, not a strength saving throw. Bummer. So I have... Uh, oh my gosh! Oh my gosh. <sighs> so 
That's how it goes. Okay, um, <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. Everything's fine. Our ancestors are gonna die, right? I, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna spend a key point to take dodge as a uh, as a bonus action. Okay. So that, was, so that puts you at neutral, right? Yeah. 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 All right. Um, is there any way I can like shoot the, the the like the vines around him, or is that you not? Try to burn him, but he'll have to take a hit of damage before he becomes free. I don't think <laughs> I have a long range burn thing. Well, that if you get what type of spells you have. Um, my only projectile long range spell is Eldritch Blast, which is force. Hmm. <laughs> if you get a good enough hit, you might be able to hit. The vines and not him. So you could try it. Good luck, baby. I'm shooting a bird. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh wait, hold on. I wanna, I wanna take a bird. So I'm gonna run up here and I'm gonna smash it in the head. <laughs> I'm gonna bop you. Okay. Bop I'll see you. <laughs> oh my god. Pull it. Okay. <laughs> it takes eight damage, but you have control of one of them now. Did it have to make a wisdom save? Yes, it will do a wisdom save right now. I said sixteen, right? Mm, yes. Uh, I don't know. How do you saves on the sheet? On the animal you just sheet? click uh, wisdom. So he has to be a 16. He does not. Ooh. So this one here. Let's see. Uh, I I hit it with the with my staff of domination, and I turn to my teammate, and I go, "There are many harpies." <laughs> like this. This one is mine. Please do not harm it. <laughs> okay, then. So now you have this harpy for a turn. Mm. So you have until his next turn. So, Verona, what else would you like to do for your turn? I already took my turn. We're on. We're on him. Yep. Mar uh, Maverin. Uh, that is all. Ang Angar, the Hestron brute. Or are you gonna do some Hestron stuff? <laughs> all right, Back seeing... off! I'll take you on. <laughs> sorry, did I just steal your joke? I'm so sorry. Very... <laughs> I feel terrible now. <laughs> See the harpy get uh, charmed by by the warlock. I go into a fury. That is my kill. <laughs> <laughs> so I go up to the one besides the charmed one. Out of I should have fucked. I would have totally loved it if he just killed it. <laughs> that would've been so funny. You don't fucking not recon that. <laughs> Can I do that? <laughs> Whoa. Yes. Okay. Can, can I attack the charm one? You can attack the charm one, but then it'll lose. It'll break out of the charm. That's fine. <laughs> uh. He is a dumb right. barbarian, so that's not Yes, surprising. I know. <laughs> He's like, you hit that one, I shall hit it as well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, guys, I mean, I'm going to strategize here. He hit this one, so I'm going to hit this one. You know, usually that's how it works. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can't so, really fault him. Yeah, exactly. It's you, you, can, you can be upset with the outcome, but not his effort. You got to just, yeah. God bless him. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, well, is the is the rage mechanic like already in the system already? Or it's not. No, There's you I can think you add just to rage. There's no, not a it's not a bone or anything. Just rage. Oh. No, it's not in the damage part. So whatever you see your damage, you just add to. Okay. Probably hits. Yeah, ten. you hit ten. So ten. Oh, wow, that's some shitty ass roll. A single yeah. tear rolls down my cheek. <laughs> you do eight damage, just yeah. as much as the mage. I, I look over to the mage. See, this is how you hit. I'm a warlock. You're useless. <laughs> <laughs> I have my turn. Okay. Uh, I believe he did ten because of rage. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so. Thank you. <laughs> oh, that, that hurt. Mm. Okay, so this harpy here, the one that got hit, got charmed, and like, oh, he loves me, and then now the, he got hit, and he's angry. <laughs> he attacks the fucking guy that hit him for <laughs> so much damage. He's sad that he lost his love. 
They're fighting over me, it's very romantic. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. his claw. Does he hit? He does Gosh, not. <laughs> he hits you with a club. He does not. Well, are you okay, rolling with, uh, are you making these rolls with advantage? No, they're the one, it's a character sheet, so I don't know how to make advantage or not. It's just the left one. Okay. We yeah, can... Mops character sheet. Yeah, I've never worked with character sheets in Roll20, so I don't... Or the, so the other uh, guy, because he saw his friends getting... <laughs> you know, I'm kind of happy with the turnout. This is fun. Ah, <laughs> uh, damn it. The club got me. I guess you for two. Okay. But since you're ah, raging... Ah, son of a bitch! Since you're raging, Rage. you have resistance to bludgeoning damage, so it's only one. Oh, right. Take so, yeah. one. Mm -hmm. uh, this one comes over here and attacks you also. Oh my goodness, the claws got me. <laughs> well, hey, good news. Since you're raging, you have resistance to slashing damage as well. Yep, so four? Two. Three. Oh, two. Three. Or, what? Two, two, two. It's, it's, Always it's round down. down. Yeah. Yep. I was playing um, uh, 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 Gloomhaven the other day, and everything is always rounded up in Gloomhaven, whereas everything's rounded down in D&D. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Are like positive effects usually rounded up? I don't remember. I'm pretty sure it's everything that you always round down in D&D. With like it'll say if there's an exception to that. Yeah. So the druids now because now are here and you're angry at this I still. All I did was got <laughs> I just did some light cardio and they're throwing nets on me. I don't know. You're walking on sacred ground. <laughs> I say to him uh, I say to him like, "Oh, this is heck of a welcome." <laughs> So he hits you with staff also. <laughs> That's fine. That's yeah. fine. So uh, yeah, he's dodging, so it'll be neutral. Right. Yeah. Advantage? His or no? 12. Uh, 12 is a miss. The other guy wants a taste of you again. Oh, I man. am delicious. <laughs> he hits. Neutral, my friend. Yeah, he it's neutral, because I, I took the dodge action, so the... Adva the disadvantage that I would give them from dodge is cancelled yeah. out by the advantage yeah, they would have from... <laughs> <laughs> Mona, your turn, buddy. Monk moves, baby! Uh, I'm gonna <laughs> try to... I'm gonna... As I'm struggling to get out of this net, um, I'm gonna say to uh, both of them... Um, I'm also, I'm like trying to nail down the voice for this character, so bear with me. It's going to like, it may sound really bad and maybe a little bit racist at first. <laughs> um, he's supposed to be, he's supposed to be like, so, you know, so all the vampires, or I guess the Legion of Dusk in general is like, the whole setting is Spanish conquistadors. Uh, What's that? German? No, right, not German, not German. No, please be German. Oh, I got this. Oh my God. <laughs> you can be German if you want. My guy, my guy is like Brazilian. He's a he's oh my God. Portuguese Brazilian guy. Um, so as okay. he's, I'm, tr I'm struggling, I'm trying, I'm going to make another strength check to try to get out of these nets, and, uh, I'm going to say to them, uh, are, are you the ones that are going for the immortal sun? Good lord, can I roll above a five, please? <laughs> Damn, don't, no oh, stories. Gosh. <laughs> that's, that's all I can do. I'm not even going to bother taking the dodge <laughs> action. Uh, I don't deserve it. I don't deserve the dodge action. <laughs> Oh so my gosh. No dodge? No dodge. Not not this time. <sighs> okay, I'm mad for him. Go. Did they uh, hear my question? Did they respond at all? <laughs> Did they, like, look at me? No? Yeah, yeah, no, man. Oh, have they been speaking in common back, by the way, or merfolk? Who? Um, when the when the merfolk were talking, um, were they speaking in common or merfolk? Merfolk. Okay, so we can't understand them. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Mm. Those damn do, foreigners. Do you speak English? <laughs> <laughs> Common, come on. Man. Uh, we all know it's English. <laughs> the universal language. <laughs> so, um, hmm. I may harm my friend a little. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I really, we really need to speed this along and get to our other friend. <laughs> so, um, my arm, my arm glows jet black. And then I shove it into the ground, and a 10-foot radius around me, um, just arms are coming up from the floor. And everyone in a 10-foot radius around me needs to make a strength save. Oh, how much? Oh, wait, oop, sorry, it's supposed to be level 2. Uh, we'll just reroll it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, one more damage. Good so, use uh, of a second level spell slot, baby. It's a warlock, <laughs> oh, I yeah, have I no choice. Warlock, yeah. <laughs> is it a strength save? It is a strength save. A okay. 13 or take half. 
And <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry, 13 to take half, or they will all do something else besides take nine wow. damage. All right, cool. <laughs> so the barbarian. I stop on the hand. Stop! Stop that fucking. Get, get, get. <laughs> Gosh, I hate it when you do this spell. <laughs> God, I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so there's another effect of this spell, I've never used it before, so I forgot it. Uh, they can't take reactions until their next turn. So I'm going to run straight past them. <laughs> okay. Zarms are Padal, right? The harpies look kind of sad. <laughs> as strong as he used to, uh, as they used to be. Probably were bros, man. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, they all take nine. Cool. That's my turn. <laughs> Okay. So anger of Hestrom Root. I'm Ooh, very afraid God. that none of them have died yet. <laughs> <laughs> so Yes, they're all mine now. I, I I took a I take a look at the wounded one and I take a whack at it. And I'm looking at the wrong character sheet. <laughs> okay. Does that hit? Which one do you hit? The the one north of me. Okay, this one. The one with the symbol on it. Yes, you yeah. hit 15 hit. 20. God damn. <laughs> How would you like to describe your kill? Is it flying? <laughs> it's hovering at 5 feet. I... <laughs> I, 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 I I step back and then I charge forward and I go Aah! and I just swing my axe wildly to, 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 to decapitate it. He did. Yeah! <laughs> he is gone. <laughs> okay. I like to I like to imagine that 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 animation there was you hitting him with your axe and he just flies like a baseball. <laughs> 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 Come <Yeah>. on. <laughs> What would you like to do next? I hold up. Uh, just give me one second to take a look at the features. If you for some reason need the move, they can't take reactions to hit you. At least until the next turn. Mm-hmm. <coughs> <coughs> um listen, and I there's not much I could do, so I you know, um can I take oh, a What kind of barbarian are you? I am the it's not a totem master. It's the frenzied one? Yeah. No, I hold up. Let me finish my turn and then I'll tell you. Okay. <laughs> I forget. <laughs> um, can I take a dodge action? I have to, or no? Not for free. Well, you have you attacked. Yeah. Okay. Then I just I, I just stay there. I end my turn. Okay. Okay. All right. And now stupid. the harpies are really pissed. <laughs> so pissed that Nick almost DC. Yep. <laughs> hey, I can see. Oh Nick's no, you see me. Conditioner now. Come on, come on, Nick. Just show yourself. I am RPing as my air conditioner. <laughs> <laughs> I say. <laughs> I'm actually a sentient AC. <laughs> <laughs> the harpies are angry and they try to attack. When they ask you the question, "What's your AC?" <laughs> <laughs> me. <laughs> I am the AC. <laughs> Which one's hit? Um, give me one second. Let me. Oh shit! Um, give me a sec. Don't 13. give him a second. It's a trip. <laughs> the claws, the club, and that's the only two. So the the what first two. Be... What's your AC? Don't AC is thirteen. <laughs> okay, thirteen. Cool. Yeah. So you take two and three, but then rating goes down to one. One. One and three. Yeah. Oh my god, I love Rage. <laughs> I yep. only took two damage again. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it's um hidden crit. The druid is turned. One one. Wow. They see your friends are coming, so then they decided to one of them casts um produce flame. <laughs> oh. He oh, throws boy. it at you. I was actually more afraid he'd throw it on the entire patch of grass there, oh, so that's fine. <laughs> in the patch already, so the fire's gonna start here. So you're gonna take 1d10 fire. Am I? Whoever's inside, right? At the first square. Is there any saving oh. throw? Oh, okay, so he's just lighting the way on fire, so I can't get Yeah, there. he's laying the grass on fire. <laughs> okay. 
God, that <laughs> hurt. Well, no, yeah, you're just on fire, and you can't really get out of there. Uh, so, do I get any sort of saving throw? Take a, uh, you take nine. He basically just like lit the vines on fire. But if he yeah. did that, can you break out easier now? He's uh, he's out of it now, but All he's right. off, but there you go. Off fire and took nine damage. Hooray, lawyers! Okay, let's go. <laughs> How's your HP looking? Uh, sixteen out of thirty-one. Okay, not that bad. But at least I'm no longer restrained, and now I can do monk things. things. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I can play now. And then the <laughs> other guy just hits you with a staff again. He oh, that is a oh miss. My God. That's that what he is... gets for doing that in the wrong I'm order. Make fire. <laughs> Very <laughs> much a miss. I mean, the red square is kind of fine, right? Well, it starts but, on one. So one for extra square. immersion, draw some squiggly lines. <laughs> <laughs> How do I draw? There's also that image section you could just grab, type in fire, grab a fire image, and just... <laughs> in, the, in the top left, woo, under the mouse uh, cursor, there should be a paintbrush. You can click that there you and go. scribble all around. That's so fucking immersive. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now it's your turn. Vona. All right, well, the first thing I'm going to do... Surrounded in fire. I'm going to move and here. Your anger is still not subsided. I'm going to move here so I'm not on fire. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's step one. Um, and I'm ready to <coughs> cut up some dudes. Um, the one who cast the... Which one cast Entangle? Entanglement? Yeah. It's this guy. Uh, if you long... Pre okay, that guy. So I'm going to hit him to hopefully interrupt his concentration and therefore the entangle will go away. And I'm swinging. What? All right! A good oh, roll! Oh my uh, god. Ooh, I'd like to report a bug that is not a single digit. Ah, uh, sorry guys. I'll, I'll get in touch with roll 20 uh, staff right away. Uh, is that <laughs> a hit? <laughs> I, I, rolled, I rolled something that wasn't a four, so... <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, you hit. How much you hit for, though? Hit four. Oh, baby, 12 damage. Okay, then. And then I'm going to, uh, since I'm a monk and I attacked the monk weapon, He's I get to make... angry that you hit him. I get to make an unarmed He's strike really angry. for free. See, now we're back to the single digits. <laughs> is that a hit? Uh, 13 is a hit. And four. Punch him in the face for five more damage on top of that. Wow. Let's get some con saves. <laughs> mm -hmm. Con saves for what? Isn't he, aren't you trying to break concentration? Oh, yes. I See, the last monk I played was a Kensei, so I was thinking, like, I don't have any of those, like, cool abilities <coughs> of, like, extra damage. Uh, um, the warlock, uh, the merfolk... In response, this like goes up to a spell and just whips out his quarter staff. Oh, right. shit. He doesn't even want to fucking check. He's like, fine. <laughs> <laughs> you lost, okay. nerd. Your turn. Okay. I'm going uh, to try to say to them again, like, do you understand anything I'm saying? <laughs> murkle, murkle, murkle. <laughs> murkle, <laughs> murkle, murkle. <laughs> 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 Hmm. Ah, I'm so dumb. I forgot to do something. Shit. I'm going to try to work in my German vampire accent next session. But, oh, uh, no. <laughs> I'll work on that in practice uh, right now. <laughs> Just going to run up and try to make a new friend. Did someone say friend? <laughs> Alright, and he needs to make a wisdom save or be charmed by me. Which one? Uh, the one right in front of me. Wisdom. Um... Womp, he's still oh, he did get hit in the face, and I'll take that. <laughs> he's not that kind of grill. <laughs> okay. Oh. Your turn, Angroff. <laughs> okay. I turn and take a glance at the one to the right of me, and I take a swing at it, too. So, yeah. Does it hit? Yeah, I swing. Right? Yeah, definitely. Okay. Hit. So, 14. Nice. If a 19's not a hit, we're in trouble. Okay. <laughs> Just another d, d session that was scary. <laughs> okay, he is very angry. All right. Which one and you get again? The left or the, the right or the bottom? The right. Okay. Yep. All right, and I end my turn. Got it. So, these harpies are very angry, right? And they're not happy. 
So they decide to sing. Sing you a song. Oh, boy. The learning song. Jigglypuff. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> not my jam. Every- Ooh, that's not good. 300 feet, holy cow! <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, let's take... <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, let's let's save wisdom. Okay. Oh, no. I do not save. <laughs> I oh wait, save. I'm proficient. Click that one. Hey, I'm so wise. <laughs> oh my god! Thank god. <laughs> Gosh, I feel bad for a monk friend. That's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, okay. Actually, what you call it? Those um, the more folks have to save too. Oh, <laughs> those are human always. They're not on the same team. Mm-hmm. Oof. Ooh. Which one is the one who didn't save? The didn't save is the one up north. North. Okay. But this is where's the music guy. That's a symbol on him. And because of the singing, it also woke up these guys. That were, oh, God. Oh, my <laughs> God. Someone manage crazy. ads. Good Lord. <laughs> Where's because our off tank? They heard the call of their friends. They heard the oh. loving singing. These guys come out. More whelps. Handle it. <laughs> more whelps. More whelps. More deeps. More deeps, guys. <laughs> oh, 50 man. DKP minus. <laughs> yeah, and these guys are gonna have another issue in the war. Excuse me. So there is 16. So they're gonna go after um, Mave. Indeed. Okay. I used one spell already. Yeah. So I'm gonna mark them differently. They have the red. Okay. So one of them singing, the other one is bam, bam, one hit, take one. <laughs> <laughs> Rage, baby. Oh my god. Okay, so the jurors turn. They saw one of you guys try to hit um so we didn't try, we had there was this new guy that came up trying to stick and like no, only I whack you sticks and he smacks you. <laughs> I am the whacker. I am the one Whoa. who whacks. I believe my AC is exactly twelve. Yes it is. This is not risk. Ty goes to the attacker. Take nine. No. Do I really? Damn, that's a lot. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm thinking. I won't use it yet. Okay, I'll take nine. <laughs> yeah, 18. Okay, the other guy is going to... The monk. If, he, if he's charmed, doesn't he have to walk towards the harpy? Oh, wait, he walks through. My bad. I mean, he Does can still he walk hit me. through the fire. Well, that's what I was going to ask is, is that fire <laughs> still that? there? If he dropped concentration on the entangle, mm. whether or not the fire is still there. I believe that's the science. Most question. direct route. Yeah, well, is so the, is the fire the there? Direct route. So it's going to walk through the fire. Okay, fire is there. But he gets to make another saving throw. And unfortunately, I was actually hoping the fire would still be there, because uh, that would be the route I would take as well. Because <laughs> mm-hmm. you get another saving throw when you move through it. So he walks through the fire. He's uh, take a little damage. Since he's not walking through it, he's not going to take that much. Um, I think I also get an uh, opportunity attack as he moves out of range. Yes, more than likely. Um, is he? D- did he swing at me before he left? I didn't see his attack roll. No, he didn't swing at me because oh, okay. he has to move. I read this spell. He has to move. Does he have to move yeah. first? Yes. Oh, I thought it just said that. Uh, hang on a second. 
Must move on its turn toward the harpy by the... Oh. Yeah, I think he could still attack me and then move afterwards. No, it's, but your I'm going to go with how it says, okay. like, it, it must move on its turn. Gotcha. By the most. So, so it has to move first. Opportunity yeah. attack. All right! Telling you, it's, it's just like checks and saves. Damage, you're on point. <laughs> <laughs> wow. He's okay. really hurt and angry. And then I think he might die to the... Yeah, well, I'm really strong. What do you want from me? <laughs> yeah, he's dead to the fire. There's no way he's not going to die. Yeah, he's dead. I'm really strong <laughs> and also smart and cool. He walks through the fire and then just collapse. Very, died. very poetic. He tried to get to our blue slide. Oh, he just wanted deep. to go hug his friend, guys. This is sad. Yeah. <laughs> um. All right. Okay. Vona, you gotta walk, man. The most direct route to the heart is. Is he considered to still be occupying that square? The the square that's on fire. Not if he's. Well, the fire is there. You can still walk through. Okay. So first, let me make my wisdom saving throw. What was the DC on the saving throw? 12? 11. 11, yeah. All right, come on, baby. Come on. Big numbers. <laughs> yes! Hey! Yes! What's the 11 for? <laughs> uh, the saving throw for the song. Noise. I know. The song is told. It's only one time save until the song ends. No, it says if you're going to move into, uh, or is it, it doesn't avoid opportunity attacks, but before moving into damaging terrain such as lava or a pit, and whenever it takes damage from a source other than the harpy, a target can repeat the saving throw. So he was about to okay, walk into then. a dangerous place. Then, got me under rules. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you, I, it's your game. If you want to say that I walk through it, that's totally fine. It's all good. Okay. That's all. If you got the correct rule, uh, be be it, man. So you save yourself. You awake. What do you do? I spin and I point my sword towards this guy, and uh, and then mm -hmm. I thrust my sword into him and I say, "Where is she?" <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> you actually stab Rachel. No. <laughs> I, his quarter staff. I still get my uh, my unarmed strike. And I say, swear to me! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, it takes seven. <coughs> it was a feint. The, so the thing is, the sword was a feint. I was, I was trying <laughs> to get him. What else do you want to do? Oh. Uh, I'm just going to move over here to this side of him. Because I don't want to break uh, melee and give him an opportunity attack. Uh, and I guess I'm, I'm also going to say, like, do you speak common? <laughs> after uh, punching uh, him right in the uh, after punching him right in the face. I'd probably say that yep. before I would like punching to him in the face. I'm not gonna <laughs> reorder that. I'll, I'll I'll ask him first, and then uh, if he doesn't respond, I do those other things. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, <attention>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, is it my turn? Yes. Uh, he hit me with his stick. I hit him with mine. Ah, uh, no. Oh, no. Unfortunate. <laughs> That's probably a no, huh? Mm. I was just assuming. You know what they say about assuming, man. Pass <laughs> out of you and me. I rolled a 10. You miss. I do. Mm -hmm. Just miss. I just put my head down in shame and next turn, please. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody look at me. Just, just go. Just go. Just Come go. on. So these guys come out and they fly and surround him because they've been, he's been attacking his buddies. That's fine. Uh, it's fine with me. Come, come, come. <laughs> break yourself upon my body. <laughs> yes, break yourself upon my body. Take a swing at the, the same one. Um, <coughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Oh. Yeah. You fail bad. Your axe actually goes into another tree, which summons about five more hearts. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you swung it, and then the axe goes flying. Oh um, no. Well, you fucked up bad, man. Yeah, I just... I... Yeah, I don't even know what, how to even describe that. <laughs> um, okay, so you you swung at the... But it dodged out of way so fast that you just tripped and just swung around. 
Lost all your footing. I'm gonna have you take damage for that one. <laughs> Roll a d4. Because you have a big axe, you fell, and I think you're about to nick your. Take three. three. <laughs> what kind of damage is that, though? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you critically fell, I'm gonna make shit happen. <laughs> I'll take the hit, fuck it. Okay, these guys are gonna attack you now. Oh no. Alright. You're about to eat a lot of attacks. I am I will eat a lot. Oh man. So how much AC you have? Alright, I have thirteen. Technically okay, so if hit. if he fell prone, these guys would all have uh advantage on the Oh attack. yeah. Seven, so you take three. Pretty techy, this barb. The Jorah's turn. You don't need armor to be tanky. <laughs> he sees this fucking uh, enemy still there, and he just swings at you with his stick. So, I'm sorry, swinging at me or swinging at um, Marvin, Ma Maverin? Yeah, Maverin, the same guy. He okay. takes four. I think it's four. It four? I'm back. Okay. It's four plus zero plus three plus two. I don't know what the fuck is with this card. It's 4 plus 2. So it's actually 6. So you take 6, Kenny. Oh, wait, I got to swing it? Yep. Ah, oh, god dang, he keeps hitting me with a stick. How alive are you? Are you very alive? I am at 12 it's HP. your turn now, Mona, but I'm going to use the restroom, so we'll find a minute. That's great. I'm going to get another glass of water. Uh, great. This is a great time. Hey, uh... Uh, Kenny, Kenneth, can do you for Ken, Kenny, Kenneth? How do what are you? Uh, Kenneth or Kenny is fine. Okay, Kenneth. Um, so uh, there's this this D and D podcast. Do you know Brian Posehn? Uh, I do not. He's a stand up comic. He was in. Um, you'd know him if you like heard his voice or saw his face. Uh, let me get you a picture here. He's like a tall, funny looking guy, kind of heavy set, um, very very deep voice. Um. This fellow, dropping him in Discord, trying to drop him in Discord, but Discord is not accepting my donation. All right, that's fine. We're just going to do it this way then. <laughs> there you go. Um, oh, yeah, no. That definitely. guy. He yeah, has a D&D sure. podcast, uh, and there's a joke that they do in it that I find very funny, but everybody in my last group did not find very funny. Um, but in times like these, when we to avoid dead air... What what I like to what the, what they do and what I also like to do is you come up with like fake sponsors for the show. Like you'd say today's episode is brought to you by Clorox. It's really good for getting blood off your armor, uh, but it doesn't exist yet. Try Clorox when it gets invented. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Those are the uh, that's that's how we fill the dead space. Anyway, um, if you have any of those that you want to share, knock yourself out. No pressure. I'm gonna get a glass of water and I'll be back in thirty seconds. Okay. Hmm. Uh, I forgot the name of this game. Uh, for the World Twenty to join it. Oh yeah, it was like Welcome to the Jungle. Hmm. <laughs> what the yeah. heck? Is it? Oh yes. There you go. Uh, we're filming this on Mother's Day, so please go call your mother. It's sponsored by Mother. This game cannot happen unless we all had mother. So please, call your mother. They will be angry if you don't. There you go. Got the sponge ship out of the way. I guess everybody's still missing, so maybe I'll use the bathroom nope. as well. I um, I got the sponge ship plugged. We're good. All right, great. That's good. Mm -hmm. um, it's actually, it was actually sponsored by Mothers for Mother's Day. Oh, uh, that's this, so nice. This game actually cannot happen unless we have Mothers. That's true. I'm, I'm back. Sorry. How dare you? Our dungeon master is still missing, but how dare <laughs> you go missing? <laughs> I was saying happy Mother's Day to Mama. Nope, unacceptable. He, he, he heard the sponsorship. It works. Yep. <laughs> the sponsorship is supposed to be, that's how they pay us. That's how we make our money, guys. Come on. Don't, Don't you know yeah, anything about business? <laughs> <laughs> Nick, did you forget to use the code? <laughs> you, oh, shit. You use offer code MOM. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I could have saved on everything. Yeah, save 5% on your first order. Please use code yep. ENTANGLE. 
<laughs> See, this guy gets it. Penna, we're going to get along. <laughs> we're going to get along just fine. Nick, you, you seem, uh, I don't know about you, but, but Kenneth, you know what? <laughs> Uh, you guys are all right. Um, so how how new are you guys to D and D? Um, I've DM'd like I just started maybe uh, the end of last year actually, um, and then I've been DMing maybe like five games so far. Cool. And I've only, this is only like the second one I've played in. Uh, third, third one. And have they all uh, been uh, fifth edition for you? Yes, fifth edition every every time. Mm-hmm. I actually tried a different uh, role playing game to start out. Um, Fate Accelerated. I'm not familiar. And uh, that that one is like almost pure creativity and not much math. So it's just, <laughs> it like it, it helped get the role play part down right. like really well. But then I got to D and D and I was like, wow, those are that is a rule book right there. Yeah, look at all those numbers. <laughs> 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 which I which I adore, by the way. Like yeah. I, I love I love the rule set and everything. <laughs> but um, the other game was pretty fun just to just just to think of random crazy stuff. <laughs> it was so good, and I want to play it. <laughs> Yeah, we ended up like losing one of our members. Um, well, not losing. That sounds awful. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we lost him. Well, we don't know where he went. He's just gone. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, um, yeah, she just didn't log on too much, and she hasn't kept in touch. So we were just gotcha. like, hey, let's just mess around with uh, D- actual D and D, and now uh, we've just played nonstop. Yep. Cool. What about you, Nick? Uh, I'm still fairly. New. I like. I consider myself fairly new. Um, yeah, same. same. Uh, I've been playing uh, mainly with uh, Kenny here. Gotcha. Uh, <coughs> do you guys? How do you? How do you, do you know Wu? Do you guys work with him as well? Um, I met him in middle school. We've been friends for gotcha. Good amount mutual of years. friend. Yep. Mm. And uh, you met him through work, yeah? Well, my roommate works with him. Um, mm-hmm. my roommate is Kyle, the other guy that's going to be in the campaign. So it's sort of like we have, we have the same dynamic, Kyle and I, as, uh, you two, because, uh, Kenny, you, you know, you knew him closely and then Nick, you wound up getting to know him through Kenny. Yeah. Um, I got to know him through Kyle. Uh, Kyle invited him over. We play a lot of board games at our house. We were like a board game family. Um, and by family, I mean like me and my roommates were not actually related as far as I know. Um, unless you're a believer in like the Adam and Eve, you know, and then everybody goes from there and it's all incest. But anyway, um, met him through there. He came over and played, uh, we played Munchkin one night as well as Kingdom Death. And, um, yeah, we hit it off and he actually wound up talking to me like a week after that and saying like, you know, I want to, I want to start up a D and D game and I want you in it. So, um, what's, uh, you know, how about it? And I was like, absolutely. Yes, please. Very, very cool. excited to see where I've this is. I've seen many a picture of uh, board games that play- we was playing at some house, so now I know which house. Y- yep. May very well have been my house. <laughs> I mean, I don't own it, but I just live here. A building. <laughs> Actually, please please don't tell Leon, or he, he's not aware. <laughs> please don't tell Leon? No, please don't tell the owner. He's not aware oh. you're there. <laughs> I'm, I'm squatting. Uh, yeah. So any, anyone watching, just please keep it secret. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, if people in the stream knew my home address, that'd be scary because then they would swat me. Um, they don't. I mean, oh. they wouldn't. The people, the people that are in the stream are guys that I've known for like four years now. Um, mm. Yeah. Do you actually watch any um, like role play shows? You know, I actually, I know that Critical Role and dice camera action and acquisitions incorporated they're all very popular but i just i can't get into it it's i don't know what it is but there's something about it that just doesn't appeal to me it doesn't get its hooks into me (laughs) i I had the the same feeling about um critical role i actually watch role play a lot like uh mejp's channel like really good stuff i know i know mejp from uh he used to host starcraft tournaments back in the day i think Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's got it. He's got his own um, channel for like so many shows. I'm like 300 of hours content in. Good lord. Really good. Ooh. Yeah, it's an addiction. That's fine. <laughs> I can stop anytime I want. I just don't want to. So Vona. Welcome back, Woo. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Again, I'm gonna try to talk to him. I'm gonna like <laughs> gesture. I'm gonna gesticulate towards myself, and then I'm gonna like point to the weapon, and then point to his weapon. <laughs> And then kind of shrug. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any... Does he respond in any way? He does not. 
Grr, and he's about to attack you on his next turn. <laughs> That's <laughs> right. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm swinging. I'm swinging away. All right, baby. Oh. Eat damage. All right, a one. A one. Now you're, <laughs> now you're speaking his language. <laughs> 12, 12 damage, and then I'm going to make my uh, my unarmed strike as well. Well, he's dead already. Oh, great. Hurt. That's good. I rolled, I rolled a two on the unarmed strike. Describe my kill. Um, so I'm holding my sword, and I pointed my sword, and then I pointed his staff, and then kind of shrug, and he doesn't do anything. So I shrug, and then I uh, I go to <laughs> knock his quarter staff out of his hands with the, the butt end of my sword. And then when I when I get it, I sort of like then go around and just bring the short sword straight into his throat, and then just pull it out and like wipe it off on the back of my hand, and then turn okay, my attention towards our bird friends, and I'm <laughs> running down here to see if I can <laughs> maybe take some attacks from our from our uh, our angry friend. Okay. <laughs> oh wait a second! Wait a second! I reduced him to zero hit points. Yeah, you have your bonus. You pistol on arm strike one these side. No, no, no. I, I got this thing. I get temporary hit points. Okay. How much do you get? Uh, six. Seven. Seven temporary actually, hit points. I actually do something similar. I wanted to kill that guy. <laughs> <laughs> you Did you want to do the bloodthirst? Uh, okay, no. Yeah, seven temp HP. Uh, Hexblade has a specific curse. Oh, your Hexblade. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Maverick. What we like to do, Maverick. So um, I see the, <laughs> I see that odd sh <laughs> just like shrug, <laughs> shrug. <laughs> just like okay, back to the bird. And I looked back, and it looks like the birds that were there multiplied. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not turned around, and now they're just now there's even more of these damn things. You know, I leave you for thirty seconds, and you bring <laughs> some more birds. What are you doing? Can I keep them? <laughs> Uh, so I'm gonna go feed and water some of them. I'm gonna try to <laughs> run to the bathroom before it comes around to my turn again. I'll be right back. Okay. Right. Go ahead. Um. Uh. Actually. Um. Before I was. I was. All right. I have move here. Just. <laughs> I don't want to take that back. But uh. Woo. Um. Is this like terrain? Is this like blocking, or is the trees just high enough that I can shoot underneath them? Tree. Like you the see the grass. All, of, all the grass and stuff. Grass is fine. The tree is the dark circle. The oh. Dark okay. Tree. All right. Uh, I'll stay here it's anyway. The center of the tree. All right, and uh, I'll Eldritch Blast. Uh, this is the one who's been weakened. Yeah, yes. Uh, yep. Yep. Two of them are weakened. One's weakened more than the other. Don't do uh, it. I I got a thing. You also have a thing. Yo, do we all just leech life? <laughs> no, well, I, I I don't leech life. I I forgot to mention I have this. Um, how how do I link again? It's click it usually. <laughs> it, it's not letting me. There we go. Oh yeah. Okay. Um, I think both of you have that feed. Don't you? No. Okay. Oh, uh, I'm just looking at this curse because I've never used it yet. Okay, it is in 30 feet of me. All right, excellent. Uh, I'm going to curse uh the harpy that has been getting bludgeoned. Mm-hmm. Uh, I look and I see one is just profusely bleeding more than the others, and I'm going to eldritch blast it afterwards. Mm-hmm. Alrighty. Son of a! <laughs> oh my God! You don't hit. <laughs> Curse you! Um, I get plus one to hit, I believe, and plus one to damage rolls against the cursed target. So it's a ten. You miss. If that, if that matters. Okay. Um, and then that is all, folks. Oh, that's awesome! I don't actually have to kill it. It just needs to be cursed by my thing. Oh, please go ahead. By all means. <laughs> Is that a monk? What, the touch of death? Why is this symbol turning? Here we go. No, oh look. yeah, I think he was turning it, messing around. Uh, that's Welcome all I want. Why does it look funny? Okay, so... Yeah, well, I'm facing the guy, so I gotta turn so that I'm facing the guy, you know? It's... <laughs> that's the way I'm facing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so all of these are gonna hit the orc. That's the, no, I, mean, I tried. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let them come. <laughs> <laughs> so you need to get hit by five of them. Jesus Christ. Mm. Two. Three, oh four. my God. Two, three, four, five. Oh my God. Six. Oh wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
Ten. You need one more. Yeah. Oh no, yeah, that's ten. Sorry, I thought that's there were ten. six of them. So, I forgot he killed one. So let's see. This hits. This hits. One, one two, two, three, three. Two of those crits. So two those crits. Ba- <laughs> I'm yeah. sorry. I'm sorry about how dead one. you are. <laughs> claw. Five. That's oh a two. my god. Then a crit from the club. So, that's so. seven. Rounded down two, to three. three. Maybe we should add it up before we. No, no, you have to you have to cut them as they come. No, okay. Seven so far, like added up afterwards. Mhm. This one hits you. You you can stop any time. <laughs> Nine. <laughs> Nine. Yep, that's it. Okay. Two, three, seven, nine, ten, fourteen. I have fifteen health. Imagine that hit anybody else. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh fuck! I fucked that up. <coughs> what? That's... Only three of them have the sixteen. The top. <laughs> so you only take the first two. Okay. So Narvi and Nails. Just take the first two. Hmm. The five and then the seven. What a kind game master. And three. So you take only five. Oh. Uh, okay. That's much less. I forgot. It's only three of them that go. Remember, three of them came. Oh, out yeah, they don't there. go yet. Yeah, they're in the next door. Okay. So you're lucky. Thank so, God. That took a crit, though. I did. That wasn't nice. Your turn, Angroff. Are you angry? Are you angry? <laughs> oh, my body hurts. <laughs> you, can, uh, uh, you can take what's called a disengage action. And mm-hmm. uh, you can then walk away from them without pro- provoking opportunity attacks, but you wouldn't be able to do that and keep raging. Because in order to continue raging for the full 10 turns, you need mm-hmm. to either be attacked or attack on your turn. He was attacked, though, right? Yeah, that was, was before his turn. Ah, oh, okay. So uh, if, you, if you disengage at this point, you would lose your rage, but you could get 30 feet away from them. You know, no, I'll be a man, and I'll, I'll stay here. All right. So <laughs> that's the- that's the barbarian way. You, you're in the right <laughs> mindset, my friend. <laughs> Run right. away! Never heard of the guy! Hit me! <laughs> All right. So, all right. So which one will you hit? Uh, what I'm going to do... I'm going to attack the the weak one that's right, that's right of me. Okay. And I'm going to also... Starting at the... Let's see. Give me one second when you attack me. Oh, my camera fixed itself. Oh. No. It's been going back and forth a little bit. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm just going to do a ta- uh, an attack, and I'm looking at the wrong fucking thing. You suck? Okay, you got it. <laughs> what the fuck? What are you clicking? If you, if you click someone else's damage roll... It'll yeah. edit try because it's trying to find like a, a pointer to a character sheet wow, that isn't you yours. Max. Almost max. Holy cow! So, nineteen yeah. damage. Yeah, nineteen. Yeah. The damage one is dead. How would you like to uh, describe your kill that took you a while? I I let out a roar and pushed them all back. Well, pushed them as you know, just to back them up. And then I I look to the weaker one and I grab I grab it and I throw it up in the air and then slash it in half. Okay. And that was the one that I cursed, so thank you for that. Mm-hmm. And since I killed it, um, I could attack again. Can you now? With uh, the Great Weapon Master. What does that do? How does that work? Uh, before you make a... Oh, wait. Hold up. More. I think that's if you roll a one, you get to re-roll. But if a, if a creature reduces... Uh, if its health is to one, Zero with one. Mm-hmm. You know, I'll, just, I'll, I'll just have you read it. <laughs> On your turn, when you score a hit with melee weapon, you use the creature to yeah, zero. Yes, so you can use a bonus action to melee. Oh, afterwards. you took that feat. Okay. Yeah. Uh, also, I get plus six HP because my curse target died. Nice. All right. So, am I allowed, Mr. GM? Yeah. It was okay. your feet, man. So, you All make right. an immediate attack. Um, <coughs> what does it say? You either get a penalty, you could choose to. Oh, that's to he minus his five on his accuracy to add ten to damage. Yep. Do you want to do that? Yep. Okay. Which one are you hitting? I am hitting the one that is north of me. 
Okay. So I do dance. Throw and we'll minus five. Okay, okay. Are you hit? How much so, you hit for? No, the damage is added by 10, and then the rage, 24. too. Wow. 26, 26 damage. damage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 26. Plus the 19 you did before, so 45 damage. That's the high water mark, gentlemen. Oh, my yeah. God. 45 <laughs> damage on a turn. One guy. I was at 27 with my arms. That was about it. Uh, 33, I hit you, too. <laughs> <laughs> um, Nick, it's worth mentioning that you can take that minus five to the attack roll to add 10 to the damage anytime you want as long as you're attacking with a heavy weapon excuse me that you're proficient with okay um you also as a barbarian get the reckless attack feature that allows you to uh you have advantage on your attack roll but everybody who attacks you also gets advantage on their attacks until your next yeah turn. but but don't i take get exhaustion from that no that's your frenzied oh uh, frenzied rage. my bad okay. yeah yep okay uh, the last bat to the north, the south, is angry that you hit, you killed his partner. He's gonna hit you. He could fuck off. Oh my god. Okay. okay. <laughs> they both hit. One, one. Feels you're lucky you're bad. born. I'm yeah. so fucking lucky. <laughs> now, ooh, I'd like you to think, what if he was a druid as well? <laughs> <laughs> well the druids are dead, so I'm gonna take them out of turn. <laughs> Rona! It's me, what I'm that guy. Know? It's that guy I am. You have 7 HP, wow. Well, you have 10. Uh, well, I have 23 if you include my temporary hit points. Uh, I wonder if I could interpose myself. Oh, no, wait, I'm evil. I wouldn't do that. Never mind. I'm just going to hit this guy. Uh, this one here is incapacitated. What's that symbol on him mean? Oh, no, he's just really hurt. Oh, okay. Like, ah. So then, in that case... Hmm... Yeah, I guess I'm gonna I'm gonna swing for this guy. Okay. Uh wait a second. Can I do my unarmed strike against the same target? Uh when you use the attack. You can do on any target. Yeah. Okay. That's what I thought. So I'm gonna make my sword attack against this gentleman here. Okay. Mm -hmm. You hit. Great. <clears throat> I'm going to okay. spend a key point to flurry of blows. Okay. I get... Oh, your open hand. Cool. No, that's that's a regular monk thing. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, open hand is just knocking down and such. Right. Mm -hmm. um, oh, the first, first unarmed strike is going to be against this guy. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. You hit. Nice. Is he dead yet? No. Then another <laughs> unarmed strike against him! Another seven, another seven, triple sevens. Oh my god. Yeah. He seven, actually seven, shoots seven. out coins. <laughs> <laughs> bonus, bonus, bonus. Yeah. Do, do. How would you like to describe your kill? All right, so I swing the sword at the one guy. It doesn't really, you know, sort of a glancing blow, but then I turn and I give a nice heel palm strike to the harpy's, like, under his jaw, and his head goes back. Mm -hmm. And then I come in with my other hand and go right in the throat. This is the sword that's holding, or the hand that's holding the sword. So the sword's, like, oh. sticking out like wow. this. And just, Jesus. Right in the throat, and his uh, trachea <laughs> collapses. A harpy's jaw bone. Yes! <laughs> Actually? Yes. That's a real thing? All right. Yeah. You the jawbone. Yes. jawbone out of its face. So my character, I don't know if this applies to this guy as well, but my character's backstory is that he's a cryptozoologist, so he's very into, like, animal parts. So getting a heart from his jawbone is very good. This is actually what starts that tradition. Uh, I'm, I'm then going to move in here. It runs in a family. I'm going to move in here and give a hard look at, uh, at this other harpy. I'm going awesome. to give him a hard look. My kill! <laughs> Alrighty. What would you like uh, to do? I'd like to run up to here. I would like to miss with my staff again. And I would like to move on. <laughs> yeah, so you... You, <laughs> you got a ton? Yep. Really? Yep. Mm. I got that first one. It was really it. cool. And then, <laughs> and then, you know, still love you. Quality gameplay. Quality. <laughs> That's it, dude. That's all. Wow. <laughs> okay, next. 
the birds are gonna hit you again. So now that they saw one of your asses die, they're gonna split up their attacks. One's gonna hit yeah, you, that's right. and one's gonna hit the. Bird. So first coming for the, uh, the fucking vampire. Which vampire? No, no probably the one, one that just vampire. killed his uh, his friend. Yeah. What do I know? I'm also a vampire. Yeah, but, but I just killed one of his missed. friends. Oh, okay. You, you all look the I same. Care about you. <laughs> okay. Wow. Oh, Two misses. Now the barb. That'll teach you not to care. <laughs> the cl the the club got me. Take two. Okay. Angrum, headstrong <laughs> brute. You took my kill. Why do people take my kills? <laughs> so I, I look over to to the left of me and I take it. Would you say there are like clowns to the left of you, and then like what's on the right? <laughs> uh, more clowns. <laughs> oh. Oh. I know that feeling, man. Don't worry. Oh. Uh, damage, uh, disregard that. Or you, you can disregard my role too. That's okay. <laughs> okay, the harpies. The ones that suffer you. Take that. Take four. Total. Oh, okay. What are you guys doing? I believe I'm, I'm clicking a bunch phones. of buttons. That's all. I just like clicking buttons. What do you want from me? <laughs> okay. Vona, your turn again. All right. These harpies are savage. <laughs> They're what? They're savage. Oh. They're angry. <laughs> um, which one tried to attack me? Did they both try to attack me? The north one. The north one. All right. Then I'm going to... I'm going to swing my sword at the south guy. You can't, a... you can't reach the south guy. He's five feet away. Oh, that south guy. That one. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Not not this guy. <laughs> That'd uh, be impressive. Not, the, weast, the weast one. Not him. I meant south <laughs> southeast, yes. Okay. Uh, 23 hits, Obviously. I think. And I'm going to do single unarmed strike against the one to the north to hopefully keep his ire on me. And I'm gonna. Can I can I hit him with the harpy jawbone? Can I bop him on the head with it <laughs> instead of doing a regular punch? Or maybe I like. No. All right. No. I put the jawbone on my fist and then use it like a like a knuckle duster. It'll be an improvised weapon. Ah, never mind. No I just way. punch him. <laughs> <laughs> so which one are you hitting? On arm strike. The, the unarmed strike was the one on the north. This guy right here, and the okay. uh, seven damage from the sword was this guy. Right. My turn. Mm-hmm. All right, time to miss. I like to do HP by hand. Ah, uh, okay. I'm the I same way. Like I eight. like I like doing everything. I have on like a sheet here paper. with numbers yeah. on it. Ah. <laughs> my sheet? <laughs> no. <laughs> Doesn't have it. No, I dropped a pen on my penis. <laughs> <laughs> my little the pen fell. My family friendly content. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right. So um. Remembering that this is in my skill book, uh, my staff emits a green flame, and then I swing it. Does it hit? Yes, it does. Excellent. Uh, the one in front of me takes nine, and the one south of that one takes. Is that from Sword Coast Adventures Guide? Uh, green flame blade. Yeah. Ah, oh, I wish I knew. I think it's. Is it not in the standard? No, it's definitely not core rulebook. I think it's Sword Coast Adventures. I just like to, whenever someone casts a spell, I like to bring up the rules for the spell on my stream so that people can see it. Ah, uh, gotcha. Yeah, Sword Coast Adventures. There it is, yeah. So yeah, it's uh, my ability modifier, uh, which is plus three. So um, the target five feet away from my initial target takes my three damage. Okay. And that's all. Because I'm not level five yet. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's still three harpies left. So, this harpy, the north one, is because they got he got hit by this fucking mage that he doesn't know. <laughs> and I know a lot. He's like, "What the fuck, man?" <laughs> oh, hey, actually, I have a question. Um, yes. it, it's still technically my staff hitting him. Does he have to make the wisdom save at all, or no? Um, uh, no. Or, okay, it so it's only the attack melee. section. It has to be the melee. I mean, it is a melee. It's still my staff hitting him. It just has some green fire on it. 
<laughs> no, it's a fire. Okay, so it's the attack action. Copy. Yeah. You could use it as a component for another attack, but if you want to do the domination thing, you have to use the weapon as an attack. Okay. Okay. These harpies are angry, angry. Harpy angry! <laughs> they screech, you're like, no, no! Come again? <laughs> no, no! Oh, I'm sorry, I don't speak bird. Oh! <laughs> they don't hit. Okay, no, the don't. next two is going to go to Barb. <coughs> they all don't hit. Wow. Barb. <laughs> Puny <laughs> weaklings. I, I continue to attack the, the one on the left, the, 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 the harpy on the left. Okay. And, and. Do I hit? Yes. At wow. Okay. This hurt. But not dead. Okay. And this harpy, the south one, is just like, why is he ignoring me? And he just goes in for the attack. Oof. And wants another hit. Take one. <laughs> it is a good thing you raged. I you'd be dead so three times know. over. <laughs> I know. <laughs> okay. Our monk friend. Oh, I'm sorry. I was looking up temporary hit points. Um, <laughs> I was just curious how long they lasted because usually it'll say under the effect, but I think it's just until a long rest. Uh, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to swing my sword at, uh, at this guy down here. Give him a swang. Mm -hmm. um, and then I'm actually... I'll how, how hurt are the two guys on the left? Which one looks more hurt? Uh, the left one, uh, the one that looks more hurt is the one to the south. Okay, so then I will try to punch the guy to the north. Okay. In the hopes of not killing him so that the other vampire can get some temporary hit points. I already did that. Oh, great. <laughs> That's fine. Seven damage to the one to the north. Mm -hmm. And that's my turn. What, you did, you attacked her? Yeah, I hit, hit him for another seven. Okay, 11 and seven. You said to the north one, right? Uh, it was 11 to the the southwest one, and then seven to the north one. I'd like to point out that all the seven unarmed strikes are max damage. Rolls. Yeah, I mean, I'm just, I'm rolling real well. I'm just, it's a D4, so. You better, you good. better fear the day I hit level five and that becomes a D6, and then I'm doing. Wait, wait, one second. So. There's a northeast and then or northwest and southwest. Which one you I hit, hit for the this guy for eleven? This one uh -huh. right here. And I hit the this one here for seven. Okay. Okay, how do you wanna state your kill for the north one? The Ooh. one they hit for eleven. Uh, this one's pretty pretty simple. I just take the short sword and thrust it into the harpy to the southwest, and then I bring an elbow back, and I catch the <coughs> harpy right in the side of the face, and uh, a loud crack uh, is, is heard. Got it. I am overflowing with temporary hit points. Every, your turn. <laughs> I don't think temporary hit points stack, do they? Uh, that's what I'm looking up. I feel like they temp shouldn't. Temp, temp HP doesn't stack, period. I think it's um your largest amount of temp is what is like it's at. Yeah, it, sure it didn't, it didn't feel right, but that, that's why I'm looking in the book. Mm -hmm. uh, right. I um, just had a page and then I lost it. I want to hit it with a stick. Give him the stick. Don't give him the <laughs> stick. Seven damage Seven. and an estimate goes them sick. Yes. Last one, there's a penis pump. Wisdom. How wise is he? Not enough. Not enough. Mm -hmm. So it's the bird's turn. What would we like him to do? Go peck his brethren. <laughs> he moves. And club it as well. And claw it <laughs> and all the, all the attack actions on it. He hits one. For three. Okay, uh, and if you have temporary hit points and receive more of them, you decide whether to keep the ones you have or to gain the new ones. So there you go. I have seven. Yep. Okay, Angram. What would you like to do? There's two heartbeats here. 
still angry that that these people keep taking my kills. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. The way it looks to me is I came over and saved your ass, but all right, fine. Taking my kills. <laughs> I, <laughs> I go for the non-charmed one this time. <laughs> and then our GM leaves. Well, I want it for a good reason. Ooh. Oh, oh my. He's supposed to blur the name out. Right? <laughs> Until we no, get to the sponsor, sponsor the show. Yeah. 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 Sponsor. <laughs> Use code CHARM and get 10% off the order. Uh, it's way better. I was about to say crikey. <laughs> <laughs> Which one you attacked? The, the one south of me. 16. 16. Uh-huh. He's <laughs> but not dead. Damn it, I had my turn. <laughs> You're like, ha! Ah! Oh. <laughs> 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 A very distraught harpy. <laughs> Rona! Woo, I gotta say, you've been rolling, unfortunately. Uh, the, one on the, the one on the west is charmed, right? This guy? Mm-hmm. I guess he's only charmed till the end of the turn, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna stab at this guy over here. Um, wait, did when you were saying like these people keep taking my kills, are you saying that in character? Yes. Okay. Well, then in that case, uh, instead of moving, I uh, I just sheathe my sword and I turn and walk away and sit down over here. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I turn around. That's right. This is mine. <laughs> and I uh, I'm gonna sit and meditate for a second, and then get up and continue my movement over here. And I'm gonna look at the the dead bodies of the of the merfolk. Okay. And what would we like to do with the dead body? Um, I want to see if there's anything. Do they have any like uh, distinguishing marks on them? Any sigils, insignias that show like who they're working with or where they're from? One second. Give me one second. Look how good Wu's face looks. <laughs> I want to like figure out why that happens, and I want to be able to replicate it so that if I like if I use it as an effect, if an earthquake <laughs> happens, you can like have that happening. I rolled a twenty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, if you're doing like psychic damage to someone, their like brains shaking around, that would make sense. There the weird go. thing about the the WebRTC plugin that they use, feel free to interrupt for me whenever you're ready, Wu. Um, the WebRTC okay, plugin, so like it crops you your see, camera. You see them wearing these arms that look like they're soldiers, but on the on the corner of the armor, you see the red skull. Red, red skull, skull, you say? Oh, I don't need a notepad. Um, red and green skull. Um, and what was the other thing that was on their armor? No, they're just wearing armor. Oh, just right. Okay. The red green skull. Do I know any? Do I recognize that symbol? Uh, do you want to do a history check? Sure, I would love to do a history check. You know that it is a. It is. Uh, they are part of some merfolk army. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. That's my turn. Mm-hmm. Yep. All right. Um, Mr. DM. Yes. I, um, so the Harpy is, is controlled until it's the start of his next turn, correct? Yeah. Okay. So when I'm controlling the Harpy, does it see me as a friend? Yes. So if I, were, if I were to walk up behind... It's if mind I, control. Perfect. So what I want to do is go up behind it and lovingly hold it and bloodthirst it because it is a willing oh. creature. Oh, oh yes! shit! Add a boy. <laughs> okay. And so, yeah, I will just roll the damage. <laughs> oh, I will not type slash r first. <laughs> oh my god! I just gave him You're a little one HP. All right. Um, I'll just keep the six I have, and then I'll just walk away because I just want I wanted a drink. And I say, have fun, bud. <laughs> it is so hurt. It is like impossible that it did not die from being bitten. 
it the... is surprise itself that it is not dead. <laughs> I thought that I thought you were gonna tell it to kill itself. To be honest, because <laughs> yeah, no. Usually you have to restrain them, or they have to let you. Mm hmm. Um, it is the last, his turn. He was so saddened. He was like, <laughs> he's limping. He's limping and trying to find a person that attacked him. <laughs> he flies up, but opportunity of attack happens. All right, so I take a Don't swing Don't fuck this up. <laughs> oh, let's see. No pressure, though. Hey! <laughs> it is dead no matter what you roll. All right. <laughs> well, now it's extra dead. Yep. How would you like to describe your kill? So is it flying away? So yeah, I just like I bit it on the neck and walked away, and then it just <laughs> flew after me. <laughs> I, I grab it by its crawny little legs and I throw it back down, and then I just behead it on the floor. <laughs> 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 exactly like that. <laughs> and I just I, I look at the bird and I'm just smiling. There's a little blood coming out of my like right tooth. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Wow. Yep. Okay, no, so now this one is dead. Your turn, Angro. Okay, same deal. Attack the the remaining one. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh my disc, disc. god! You swung and you slipped again. Oh, uh, I did what? E four. <laughs> oh my god! Take four. <laughs> I saw, uh, I'm gonna knock myself up by falling damage. <laughs> I know we're just like looking at the bodies, like, okay, what the heck's these? The, the deal? And they're just like a board picking on you for like the last two. Weeks. We didn't notice. Uh, I end my turn. <laughs> I swear to God, if this bird kills you, <laughs> I will be so upset. <laughs> <laughs> this bird is like, what is going on with this guy? <laughs> the one gets him, yeah. yeah. Take one. I love barbs. I love How much so health much. do you have left? I have eight health. Oh my god. He was probably the biggest threat to himself at this point. A <laughs> <laughs> uh, Volna? What uh, would you like to do? I'm going to tap myself and pay seven life to destroy target non land permanent. What? The joke is that the ability right? from the from the card, Vona, Butcher of Magan. Um, oh my god. I'm, I'm just going to keep looking over the merfolk, see if I can learn anything about their anatomy or, uh, you know, anything uh, mm -hmm. anything that appeals to me as a way of the long death monk. Okay. Uh, Maverin? All right, so um, this is my packed weapon. Yeah. Okay, so it gains the feature. I believe it. Is. Yeah, it gains finesse and light and thrown. So I just throw my stick at the bird. Hmm. <laughs> 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 it get? Does it have to make a wisdom check or is it dead? <laughs> it is still alive. All right. Mm -hmm. So I, um, as a bonus action, I snap the packed weapon back to my hand and. Please, wisdom save. Okay, one second. No, no, don't sing. Bad bird. <laughs> it does not save. Alright, it's charmed. <laughs> <laughs> and then I continue just walking away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, there you go, buddy. Should be a little easier for you now. Uh, In ground. What do you want to do with this charm? I annoyingly get up. Oh, so I fucking hate birds. <laughs> and I just... <laughs> um... So it's completely charmed, right? Mm-hmm. All right. So do I have to roll or or just kill it? You have an advantage. All right. Well, you can't fuck this up. It is day. How would you like to describe your last? <laughs> so it's completely still, and I just I just slowly stand up it's and looking at you like friend. Friend. <laughs> <laughs> gonna put you down, old yeller. <laughs> And I, I just raise my axe over my head and just do one gigantic slash downward, to sl just to uh. sl slash it in half. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I thought it was a bonus action. 
No, it's uh, I, I whispered to him that uh, summoning his weapon back to his hand is an action, not a free action. Or a bonus action. Uh, I thought right. it was a bonus action. Oh, okay. I, I'll double check it, but I think it said you can summon it at any time as an action. Um, gotcha. I thought it was when it was thrown. Oh, that's Shadow Blade. I believe. So many rolls. So what would we like to do now? Uh, so now that... Did, did he actually get his kill? He killed it? Yeah, he okay. finally killed it. Uh, sorry, I was looking up that rule. Um, yeah, it was uh, Shadow Blade. I was making... Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. I thought that was a regular pack to the blade thing. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna be looking at these guys, and I'll sort of get up and dust myself off, and then turn to uh, Maverin, who's now standing next to me, and I'm gonna point out the red and green skull symbol, and say, uh, "Do you know anything about this?" Uh, let's see. Do I? What do I roll, Mister Sensei? Oh. One second. What we want to do? I'm um, looking at the same symbol he was looking at. Okay, so history. Uh, let's. Find I'm gonna that. post something in the um your the Discord channel of what the armor looks like. Great. I love. Uh, roll what the, the armor looks like. Better roll this than I rolled. The corner, there's gonna be like a symbol. Oh wow, he knows. These guys are the loyal followers of Kamunda. And they were they were here to guard the path towards Orkaza. And you know that along this path you will surely hit the go city and meet up with him. Uh so what did you say the name of the town was? Orazka, right? Or or order, I can't fucking <laughs> can, you, can you link like the names in the chat? Just for spelling yes, purposes. I'm, I'm gonna <laughs> link you to city now. Yeah. Just for spelling purposes, it's like brutal. Orazka. Okay. Yeah. And uh and so which one is the town and which one's their order? Or uh, what one, they're part of or one second. So Orca Ora Zaka is this is the city that you're trying to get to, the ancient city. Mm -hmm. And the guy you're trying to stop is Kumena. Okay. Kumena. So um I say these are the guards of Orzka. No, no. And, uh, Kumena is the guard. Kumena? Oh, okay. Orca is uh, the ancient city that everyone... Yes, they, gu they guard the city we seek. <laughs> and um, as, I, as I say that, I look at them and I cast with my many... So, the man of many faces or whatever it was called. Many face? What the hell is it called? Let me check real quick. I'm sorry. The man of many faces? <laughs> mask, of ma mask, of many, mask of many faces. I, um, I disguise self at will and I turn into one of the more... Mm -hmm. <laughs> I say, if there's a city of these things, maybe we could talk. Do I see all this happening? Like, am I just like so? Like, am I oblivious to all that? What's what what they're, what, what, what those two are talking about? Uh, no, you actually know. Even though you're an orc, you just know that people bad. I heard, <laughs> and you know that you are always charging in headstrong. Okay, <laughs> but like, do I hear them? Like, of course, you're not that far away. Okay. <coughs> so what we guys like to do now? We guys want to loot the bodies. You guys want like <coughs> the temple in a rush? What we like to do? Because you are in a race against the clock to stop him from unleashing evil onto this plane. Uh, I mean, uh, as an evil guy myself, I'm not. Uh, I don't object to him unleashing evil onto the plane. So I'm going to take evil. some time and. Look and see if evil, there's anything valuable evil, on these guys. Evil hates on evil too, man. It's like some like black crime. There's gonna be evil on evil. Crime. Oh my god. <laughs> That's true. I guess you know what? I want the immortal sun. So uh, I'm gonna say, um, well, it oh, seems like <laughs> seems like this path leads to uh, the to Orozka. Then we should be off. Hmm. I'm gonna start walking. <laughs> I. I, I sheath my axe and I sigh. Uh, so I, I look down. And I see. I see my body uh, battled and bruised. And I just <laughs> touch myself. God. Uh. So what uh, we like to do? Would you like to follow him, or would you guys like to look around at these bodies for anything? Uh, I'm walking behind him, and I'm going. <coughs> <laughs> 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 Got it. 
<laughs> I walk forward. I want to. That's lose Murloc, him. not Merfolk. <laughs> I am very aware. <laughs> <laughs> so what we like to do? You guys uh, I want to. I want to follow the path and uh, you know see if it actually leads to Orozka. Uh, I I quickly want to just take a look at these bodies, see if they have any loot. Uh, okay. I also have I have the actor feet, so it comes up perfect. By the way. I don't know what I'm saying, but it Which sounds perfect. Which body do you want to look at? Uh, the one right next to me. The harpies? Yes, the harpies. Uh, row uh, investigation. Okay, okay. Investigation, investigation, investigation. Oh my god, my worst stat. I find the ground. You know that they're holding a stick. That they were whacking you with. Can I would like to grab said stick? Okay, you have a you have a stick. Oh yes. <laughs> stick. What else would we like to do with these heartbeats, or want to get anything else? All right. Well, since I I clearly they only have sticks, I just throw it on my back and I just follow along. Okay. So you're gonna follow along. Okay. Yep. So, okay, you guys, transition. So there's no map. I'm just going to describe to you what happened. So you guys are running along the path, and then you notice that there's a whole bunch of trees. You're running. You're running. But it seems like it never ends. What do you guys like to do? Does it feel like we're, we're not getting anywhere, or are we? is it just a longer path than we expected? It feels like you guys are go- uh, going around in a circle. And you don't know why. Because hmm. you're running on a straight path. Uh, I get a little frustrated and turn to my friends and say, uh, are either of you two uh, skilled navigators? Mm, this is not the sea. I don't know. Um, can I make like an arcana check to see if there's some sort of spell at play? Sure. You're very smart with magic, but you notice there's not all magic. It's like, there's no magical thing affecting us. We are just lost. Yes. Mm. No one knows the direction. It's a path, but it's a lost city. It's like El Dorado. <laughs> <laughs> what direction is you? Have we, have we just stayed on this same path the whole time? Yes. And how long have we been walking? I would say you guys have been walking for 30 minutes. Uh, I sort of I scratch my chin and I say, uh, per- perhaps uh, we were too hasty in leaving the corpses. Maybe they had a map on them. Mm, they had a stick. I pull out the stick. Uh, that was for the harpies. Oh, uh, well, here's a stick. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, should we go back and examine the body? I would Again, like I, to. I, I scratch my chin and I say, uh, I guess I shrug and uh, we do not seem to have any other lead. So, uh, yeah, okay, surely. <laughs> I happy. Okay. You guys take another 30 minutes to get back. Do, 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 do. Can we, is there any way that we could do it at a hustle and be, be somewhat tired? Sure, you get back in 10 minutes. Great. Okay. <sighs> yeah. uh, okay take a look so over the bodies and. Back. Oh, an hour passes by, so my disguise self wears off. Yeah, so you guys are back at the uh, the the battle scene. What would we like to do? I want to check if either of these guys has a map. Okay, so I want to roll an investigation. Not great at it, but you know I'm I'm okay, um, especially that, when I roll seventeen. A one. <laughs> oh wow! You search around your body, from around, you reach into a pocket, and you pull out a compass. Ah! Uh, if you look at Discord, it's not, I have it saved. It says LOL in Discord. Is that what I found? I found a compass that says LOL across the middle. The compass says Keck? What is, what is Keck? <laughs> Ooh. Find this uh, from his pocket. Do I know this to look uh, different from a regular compass? Yes. You notice that it's always pointing at a specific direction deeper down the path i'm gonna nudge the the sailor and 
and then point back at the compass and say, uh, does this uh, mean anything to you? I, my eyes widened. I never seen such a compass like this. I, 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 I uh, that's I, fine. I, that's fine. Can you, can you navigate with it? Uh, it, it yes, but c- c- can I touch it? I toss it to him. I, 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 I catch it and I just like, my, I just gawk at it like, oh my, wow. I snap my I, fingers a few times and say, all right, all right, come uh, on, uh, lead on. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, so, mm. um, so where, so I take it. Oh, he's typing. Uh, Ooh. Okay. That's the compass you found. Okay. Okay. So, now I feel like now what would we like to do. I would like to take us to where the compass is pointing. Okay. Uh, I play three colorless mana and tap it to search my library for a basic land card. Uh-huh. I turn into a merfolk again. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys are running, running. You're going through the same ways you've done, but since you have the compass, you notice that whenever there was a turn or you would go through woods, so instead of following a path, you were going between trees. You were going on paths, trees, until you see the spire of Kazan. Yeah. You see this majestic golden building popping out from the woods. And you notice that there was just people already on this path for you. You notice footprints freshly made. You're on the track of Kamuna. Kamina. Kumina. Kumina. <laughs> You're on the path of Kamina, not far behind him. But because of the distraction of the being lost in the woods, you are a little bit behind. You have there's not much time left. You run up the path following the compass and you reach you see this building. Ooh. You would notice that Kumina is inside the is, So is, is Kumina is that a person? Yes, Kumina oh, is that. Oh, okay. I thought that was like a like a group. Got it. This is who you see. This is who you see. That guy. You notice him. You notice as you start getting closer, he just prays to the heavens and turns around and walks into a building deeper Pray down. The side. What we like to do. You're outside. You're trying to get to the, the. You're trying to get into the cattle deeper down into the city. Can I, like, are there are there, maybe a, a balcony I can climb up and uh, maybe jump from a tree? No, these and... buildings are hundreds of feet. Up. Oh, okay. Hmm. Can I uh, throw one of them up there? <laughs> <laughs> hundreds of feet. Do you dare to challenge me? <laughs> you doubt like my strength. Did. You actually yeah. ask, like, do you want me to throw one of yourself? Yeah, so, like, do you want me to throw you? <laughs> I turn no. to um, uh, ma- 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 Maverin. I turn to Maverin and say, uh, I don't you suppose you are one of those vampires uh, who flies, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, I am not. I snap my fingers and say, uh, nor am I. What uh, kind of vampires are you two? The, gate into the door to the, sit- uh, the building is half open. Uh, what's his face? Um, Angrat says that he said, "What kind of vampire are you guys?" And I, 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 I snap my fingers and I turn into myself. I go, "Oh, you stupid vampire! You should be flying all the time." <laughs> um, if the door is ajar, I'm gonna, zog, uh, zog. I'm gonna go up and uh, approach it somewhat stealthily and mm-hmm. see if I can peer inside. Do I see anybody in there? You see the empty. You see that it was just building was closed for eternity for a very long time mm. for ages and you notice that inside there's not a not a hint of anything alive but you do notice in a corner a stairway down hmm. i'm gonna what? look back at them and then gesture and and try to push the door open quietly and scramble down the stairs wait so hang <laughs> on a second we saw this guy up like above us yeah and there's stairs leading you're down. You're running towards the city. You're running towards the city for like a minute. And gotcha. he's just up there looking around, praying to God, and then he goes inside the building. And the building that we went into, you said there are stairs leading down? Yes. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. Do they seem... Uh, what about the compass? I'm going to turn back to Ma- Ma- Angrath. The city. Do you, That's do, you turn, do you turn to him or do you turn to me that I look like? 
<laughs> uh, I, oh my god i wave my hand and say whichever one of you two is the real one uh, does the compass uh, point to the stairs uh, i i i look i look at the compass um i look uh, at a small rock in my hand <laughs> <laughs> uh, the this points down not yeah. at the building but into the city hmm it, it seems to be pointing to the city because remember, you're you were in a play. You were lost in the woods trying to get. Yeah. The compass showed you the way to a city. You're in the city now. The compass is going to point straight down. Old. Oh, in the okay. City. Got it. Yeah. As if to okay. say, like, hey, you made it. You're on the North Pole. Okay. <laughs> um. Yeah, I'm gonna. I shrug and I go down the stairs. Okay. And I'm gonna try to keep an eye out for any uh, signs of passage. Has anybody walked through here recently? Yes, you notice a, a whole bunch of footprints. You okay. see four sets of footprints. Okay. Uh, I'll point them out and then turn to my, my compatriots and say, it seems uh, we are up against the uh, four of them. Mm -hmm. so I have to face running. two mighty orcs. We are so <laughs> running hundreds of feet down through tunnels, just straight down. Then following a path, you notice this reach here. Ooh. Sheets. Is this <laughs> is this to scale? It's about fifteen feet across the gap. Mm -hmm. Okay, I jump it. <laughs> Pull your character out, man. Okay. Which way? Which way are we coming from? Uh, what are the rules for high jumping or long so. jumping or whatever is that? With a running start, I think you can jump ten plus. Uh, it's like, no, I'm sorry. You can jump a foot for every point of strength. Mm -hmm. So I'm at 10, so 10 feet. There, hang on, the jumping rules are bizarre now that I think about it. Well, you need a long jump. This could be fun. I want to see if you guys hold me. Okay, <laughs> your strength determines how far you can jump. Long jump. When you make a long jump, you cover a number of feet up to your strength score if you move at least 10 feet on foot immediately before the jump. When you make a standing long jump, you can leap only half that distance. Either way, each foot you clear on the jump costs a foot of movement. This rule assumes that the height of your jump doesn't matter, such as jump across a stream or chasm. At your GM's option, you must succeed on a DC 10 strength athletics check to clear a low obstacle no taller than a quarter of the jump's distance, such as a hedge or a low wall. Otherwise, you hit it. Uh, when you land in difficult terrain, you must succeed on a dexterity acrobatics check to land on your feet. Otherwise, you land prone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I guess, uh, yeah, it's 12 feet across. Can I, can I jump and then try to grab the edge on the other side? Yeah. Well, let's see. How many of you guys have to? I have ten strength, so I I'd have to. I have. No, I, have I can only jump ten feet. What about the barb? I have eighteen. <laughs> what a shock! Yeah. 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 Jump across first and try to help them out in some way. But you guys gotta come up with something. How to get across? Hmm. Uh, so let's see. Let me get the arrow. So if you go first, I would say like go by the ledge. Make sure we get by. <laughs> Wait, how do I make the percent as uh, the smaller number? How you did Hold Alt when you click, and it won't uh, uh, it won't align to the grid. So it uh, looks like the shortest path is here, going diagonally. Mm -hmm. If anyone wants to try, uh, I do not object to going first. Yeah, I think uh, I think the GM recommends a bar. <laughs> that's just a GM's opinion. Your your mic cut out. You said you recommend him going first, or him like tossing us. I recommend the bar <laughs> jump first. Yeah, I so want to toss them so bad. I I give a thumb and say <laughs> uh, tossing them if they let you. I know. <laughs> <laughs> give it the try, but, uh, strong man. Or you could try holding both of them and running and jumping. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Hmm. I I look to the two and I shrug. <laughs> Fine, I'll go first. You bunch of wusses. <laughs> so, um, so, 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 I, I, I'm gonna make a running start. Yes, please. All right, so I make a running start, and so from here, to here. Mm-hmm. So I have a 18 strength. So would I be able to make? I, I assume I I would be able to make it. Yes. 
Okay, so you jump a no. You can jump a number of feet equal to your strength score. Okay, so either way, I'm good. Yeah. Okay. All right, okay. so jump. I dash and I take a jump over the, the, the chasm, and then I gracefully land, <laughs> and I turn. See, it's easy. Uh, okay, now what will you two do? I'm gonna How like feel good? on my person. I don't suppose I have a pack with any rope in it or something, do I? No, you do not. I figured as much. Um, yeah. I turn to turn to Ma- Ma- Maverin. I can't. I can never remember that name. I want to say Malvain for some reason. I turn to Maverin and say, "Well, uh, seems uh, he can make it. Uh, I think I can, but uh, I don't know about you." <laughs> hmm. I I like go over to the chasm. And woo, we, we could jump from any point of this, correct? Yes. So could I jump from if you see my ruler? Um, this. Yeah. Ten feet. Yeah. I I run and I jump the ten feet. <laughs> <laughs> Since that is the difficult terrain, do a deck save. Oh boy. <laughs> I miss you guys. <laughs> Twelve. Well, you make it. You land standing <laughs> up. Okay. Well, you like, notice that this uh, this la- piece of land is unstable, so you yeah, so, like it starts yeah. crumbling under my feet a little bit. So I just like hustle. To the main yes, part. you hustle. You don't want to. <laughs> <do it>. Yeah. <laughs> I basically like I like swipe my I wipe myself. Off. Oh, see, easy. No worries. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Vona, what would you like to do, monk? Uh, I'm gonna jump up on the railing here. I'm gonna walk okay, along this railing uh, and get a running start, and then jump from this point. Please? Yeah. Sure. Uh, do a, say, a pass a 12. Mmm, no sir. Oh. oh, crap. Okay, so you stumble and fall back onto the bridge. Okay. <laughs> You're worry, worried that you will not get saved next time you <laughs> <laughs> I, I chuckle. I, I feel fate and its tenuous grasp slipping <laughs> away. Uh, I snap my fingers and then just run and, and try to jump across. Can I uh, like uh, put my hand out so he doesn't fall to his death? <laughs> yes, you you reach your arm out. You give that person. You extend two feet off uh, out into the ledge. All right, come here. <laughs> I have twelve strength, and it looks like uh, about twelve feet. And then you got two feet from the the barbarian's hand. Great. Yep. Okay, you jump it. You make it. What do you do now? <laughs> uh, continue forward. Although I guess uh, having seen the crumbly terrain to the west, there, I'm gonna take it a bit, bit slowly. Make yeah, sure if, that... you see, yeah. if you see the path ahead of us, it's a little wobbly there. Yeah. So we uh, I'm gonna, easy. I'm gonna hold up my hand and say, uh, perhaps uh, let me check it first. I'm gonna mm-hmm. like take, take oh. one step at a time and. Well. And kind of like feel each square that as I'm moving on to it and see if the if there's okay. any. Okay, as you crumbling. guys are slowly walking, you hear rumbling down below. Everything around you starts shaking. Oh, that doesn't sound good. I immediately full sprint for it. <laughs> good. <laughs> run, niggas, run. I am yeah. all running. I, I follow behind them. Yeah, yeah. I, if, they're, if they're running in a straight line, I'll be right behind. Run! <laughs> run! 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 <laughs> run! Run! You guys run down the hallway across the bridge. You make a turn, go through doors. These giant doors and end here. <coughs> oh God! Excuse me. Hmm. I see some objects here. What? Uh, we come in in the south. Yes, yeah, south. Can we see all the way to the other end of the room, or? I assume that the, are these like doors or are these sort of like raised platforms? Um, there's these are this so these are all this one whole is one giant room. These are all just different bridge ledges, so you can see all the way to end. But these are all for reason. This gotcha. place is very complicated with architecture. Okay, um, I'm gonna try to find the shortest path and. Uh, I can, are these like people at the other end? I see these two, these two here and these two objects. I can't tell if those are people or, or uh, what. Uh, do an investigation I, check. Or. No, uh, perception check. See perception. if you can see that. Good. I'm slightly better at perception. What do you, you see with your special that, eyes? that is Commander and his hand is touching that wall at the end. Can you just see like Merfolk at the end? Yes. 
And you notice that there's like two guards next to him. They've been here for a while. And you notice that there's like a two platforms there with treasures on it, like an offering to the gods. And you see this door, a wall, that is like breaking up, and light is on the other side. He's trying to get this door. I um I transform into the Murloc or the Merfolk from earlier, and uh, I tell them in common because I can't speak Merfolk. Not not to them, to my teammates. Like. Uh, we could try to get close, trick them. Uh, like I could look like I'm apprehending you too. Looks like we don't have that much time. Uh, we could always the, run straight at them. The, the two, I like his idea. The two guards <laughs> here, are, are they facing us? Are they facing him? Do they seem to have noticed us? No, they notice you. Okay. Oh, so uh, I'm also going <laughs> to like point a thumb and say, like, it uh, looks like they know already anyway, so might as well book it, huh? Alright, the only way is forward. Yep. I, hmm. After you. <laughs> where where did we come in on? Are we on the right side yeah. here? Or are we in the middle? South right. Yeah, south oh, right. right. Okay. okay. I remember putting your stuff. Or where are you guys? Okay, you guys a good amount of Okay, let's uh, keep going. I'm going to take the dash action. Move As will feet. I, for 60 feet. All right. Um, do I see... Oh, so we so we see them, right? Like, yes. they're in our sight. Okay. Uh, since, I, since I can read now, um, could I do this? Uh, mm -hmm. So then you can go 90 feet a turn, I believe, unless... Is yeah. aggressive only in combat, or...? It's only in combat, though. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, I'm coming, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can move double your speed, because you're not doing an action. Okay, so... Or your action is to dash, so... Mm -hmm. <coughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna keep running as fast as I can. Um, uh, when I me. when I reach this wall, is this going up or down here? Mm -hmm. This wall here that I'm standing at, is this going up or down? Um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, all the walls are too high for you to go. Okay, so I'd have to like the go down here. The walls are way too high. The small one you could tr uh, try to hop over. Or it'll be an acrobatic check. Is this one of the small walls or one of the big ones? Uh, let me see. That is the big one. Bummer. Um, all right. So then, this one, this wall over here. Can I try to jump over that? Then is that one of the shorter walls? Let's just say you gotta go the path. I want you. Okay. To go. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna. I'll keep. Uh, keep walking. I was gonna make a Lord of the Rings joke. Damn it. What's stopping it's you? Gonna be like, I was gonna say, big guy, throw me over the wall. Don't tell the other <laughs> vampire. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna keep right. moving along at my uh, I can move 10 feet so far at my 15, 80 feet per turn 15 uh, diagonal 25 hmm. alright we're trying one sec uh oh, he said one second. Go back. Sorry. Oh no. Undo. Quick, toss the vampire. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's how you do the um the little jagged run. Yes. Okay. Oh, oh, how do you do that? Space bar as you're dragging your. Thing. Oh my god, that's amazing. Yeah. Forgot about that one. I can't wait to punch some guys. I love punching. <laughs> I'm See at how many eight times health. I miss. Yeah, I'm at like 18 health. I was also really <laughs> hoping that I could jump over this wall because I have slow fall, so I'm just <laughs> immune to falling damage unless I fall like 40 feet. Mm. Yeah, how much health are you at? Uh, I have 16 health, but I have 7 temporary hit points. Okay, so I'm at 12 with 6 temporary. Want to buy and more help? One more spot. <laughs> And one more spell. <laughs> Want to buy cleric? 
Oh yes, <laughs> I, I I should I I was thinking about making a cleric. I was too. too. What is Kyle? <laughs> Kyle's a warlock. Oh. Oh my, oh my god. god. <laughs> <laughs> okay, keep going. Keep going. Okay. Continuing. Once my... you get to here, let me know. Okay. Thanks for pointing that out. I'm continue moving along at my at my uh eighty feet per turn. Uh <laughs> I'll say over my shoulder as I'm running, like, you know, if uh, one of you let me bite you, I could move faster. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how do you guys do that double? Space. Press the space yeah. bar as you're dragging a token. So cool. Ah, that's I'll take your word for it and go back. Keep going. <laughs> Keep going. Okay. <sighs> I have 20 more feet of I'm movement. I'm actually next to you, do you want? No, you're, you're really low. <laughs> <laughs> Let me catch up to him. All right, and six. The fuck was that, John? <laughs> Invalid uh, movement. Go back. We can do that. <laughs> <I think it's, laughs> just go one, one in front of me. Just go one in front of me because that, you've been one ahead of me the, most of the time. All right. <laughs> go. Okay. Let's believe where he reaches that point while we're running up. I'm just going to do the 30, and I guess something happens in the middle of when he does that. Okay. Does everyone just uh, use up your movement just now? Yep. Uh, I have another 30. Okay. Hurry I'll up. use up mine. I'll just do 25 because I don't trust Nick. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> okay. As once you guys end your movement turn at this point, Ravona that's me stepped over the line and they got into they're in the he's in the view of the these two little guards that's next and they notice him crossing over the threshold and they consider them enemies now all right so well, they see him running from a merfolk and an orc yeah. <laughs> Honestly. they were they weren't sure we were going to disturb the ritual whatever mm -hmm. that's happening but since you guys crossed the barrier, they they went on alert. So what's gonna happen is they're gonna react. Let's see, what are they gonna do? Are those treasures on top of a pedestal? Yeah, he said they're like offerings. Okay, and are they like in a bowl, or are they just like on a pedestal? They're on a pedestal. Okay. But they look glowing. like uh, they look like dinosaur skulls. <laughs> uh. Looks like a Pokemon. I don't know what the hell. Who is that Pokemon? It's Jigglypuff, seen from above. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Wisdom save, everyone. No, no. We're gonna grab a glass of water while we set up for this fight. I'll be right back. How is her mm -hmm. microphone a marker? That's my question. <laughs> that doesn't seem possible. Oof. Um, Nick, uh, don't you? Uh, Nick, don't you raid in a minute? I do, but I I did say that I was I might be a little late, okay. but like you know I I can't be like oh my god it's an hour late. Okay, oh, you know, no, uh, this won't last that long. <laughs> uh oh. Oh no. Uh, so Brandon. both of these priests and react cast guiding bolt. Oh, that's fine. Oof. Only forty six damage each. Uh, oh. you're level one, you'll be fine. Plus oh, I'm thinking of Scorching Ray up. Oh, yeah, no, no, 46 damage. So it is yeah, roll 1d20 plus 5 to hit. That is a hit. <sighs> it's possible. That is also a hit. <laughs> that one would have had advantage, too. That's true. Damage is, uh, what you call it? 46 each. I, I, I Google overkill, and for some reason, it, it, it comes back to this chat. Ah, <laughs> uh, dang it. So that's, uh, that's 25 damage. The first, let's see, the first 15 was this. My temporary hit points go away. And then there's eight left over. Second one hits me for 10. I am now unconscious. 
Okay, you guys are unconscious. Go inside the turn order, please. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm the only one who's unconscious. I'm the one who got smacked by guiding bolts. <coughs> uh, damn. All right, Mr. I need you to <coughs> start with a 20, and then we will resume. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hmm. Hello. Okay. One second, I gotta run. Why does his name never show up correctly in the term? It doesn't matter in turn order. I don't know why I'm using. Okay, then. Looks for Pumina. Man, I don't even want to go out there. <laughs> I know. <laughs> the, the healthiest one of us ran forward and just instantly fell to the floor. Yeah, I was yep. just like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, Argraf, you saw your friend. Go in and then get. I uh, seeing our our vampire. I go into a bloodied rage. Oh, uh, the frenzied one. Um, I don't know. No, just, uh, just, just a regular rage because I'm not nowhere near close to them to do that. Okay. And I go ahead and go my thirty, and then I use aggressive to, for that Ra bonus. Rage yeah. is your bonus action. Oh, it is? Well, shit, then in that case. Hi, I'm here. You can still do your action, though. So I, ca so I can do it? Yes. Okay. You don't need to do aggressive, but it's just regular dashing. Okay. No Semantics. One's pick up. <laughs> no one's gonna try to pick him up? We can't? Yeah. Well, I mean, none of us have healing. Yeah, you can make can a medicine check uh, to stabilize me, though. I think it's like DC 12? Eh, the other vampire got it. Yeah, could could suck him. Maybe the, mer the merfolk. The merfolk. Oh, I'm, I'm um, kind of no. thinking of something. <laughs> All right, that's as far as I can get. Okay. Next. Kumina turns around and looks at you guys in yeah. sec. But if we do oh. that, Vona, then you can't get a twenty and stand up. <laughs> no, that's fine. I'm, I'm yeah, not no. uh, upset about it. Bone Kumina looks and sees this ugly dwarf in his presence. He's like, "What are you, insects?" Oh, he's an ogre. He's an orc, right? Yes. Okay. I was like, "Oh, I've been thinking of this very wrong the entire time." Oh, oh man. <laughs> <laughs> he looks at you. His hand glows. One hand aimed at you. One hand on the wall still. Mm-hmm. He casts Fireball. Ooh, boy. At least it's not Fireball. No, it is Fireball. <laughs> that oh, he's casting Wait, Fireball. Oh, oh my oh. god, no. Am, That's some that. big damage. It's very <laughs> statistically likely you'll die. Oh, you have advantage on dodging it. Mm-hmm. Right, danger sense? That applies, right? Does it? That's trap, so. No, it's, it's for dex-based spells, isn't it? Uh, like dex, dex saves? Is, uh, fireball dex? Just to get the hell out of it, we have a fireball. I so. <laughs> yeah. Um, as long yeah, as he's and, not blinded, uh, deafened, or incapacitated. Yeah, it works on spells too. Okay. Yeah, dex save. So... Congratulations, you get to take half damage. <laughs> <laughs> Even more? What? No, half damage of uh, the okay. fun fireball spell. So, yeah, okay. succeeding, succeeding at the saving throw of Fireball, you still take... Um, no, there's no attack action. He just makes a saving throw, and then oh, you roll your 68. Or 8d6? 8d6, I think. So, go ahead and make <laughs> your saving throw, um, Nick. 
um, oh, a deck saving throw, right? Deck saving throw, yep. And you have advantage on it, so if you want to click that advantage button above your initiative and then roll it, it'll automatically give you the higher one. All right. So there you go, 16. Is that a successful save? Let's see. Hmm. Just... He's casting fireball. He's got to be at least level five. Mm. Or six? Yeah, you got third level spells at level six. Mm -hmm. No, level five. Five? It is five, okay. Yeah. Wait, how does. Uh, what's the DC save on this? Is it Saving throws is usually eight plus your if spell casting. It makes you feel any fire. better. I believe he has eight HP. So it does not matter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're not going to survive. I mean, uh. you could roll eight ones. <laughs> he already rolled the damage, correct? Yeah, I rolled the damage already. Oh, well, then, yeah, you're. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Half of that is so good. Okay. So. Mona, you notice your orc friend. I don't notice shit. I'm unconscious. <laughs> on the floor. What are you doing? Are you talking I'm to me or there. to Maverin? Mona. I'm talking to Vona. I'm unconscious. Oh. Oh. Oh, wrong bird. Mona. <laughs> That's it. People around you are dying. What will you do? Make a. Uh, make a check. Uh, make a death save, please. <laughs> oh, it's my turn. Yes. What? Okay. I didn't. Yeah, what will you turn. do? Oh yeah, make a death save for it. <laughs> All right, one failure. Yay! All right, so thirty-three um, percent of the way to death. Let's Maverick go. It's all up on you. So yeah. I, I, I. So to them, I Merfolk was chasing these two because I was behind them the entire time, and then they ran in front of me and both instantly died in my, in front of <laughs> like they're both just unconscious on the floor. So. For my action, I want to walk up to um, my other vampire, but as as a merfolk, and bite his neck. Okay. So to them, they just see see a merfolk securing a kill. Mm hmm And then I just kind of like thumbs up and walk up to the altar. Okay. <laughs> the priests stand there and just like, huh? And they just they just continue uh, guarding Kamuna. Okay. Angaroth, what will yeah. you do? You got a sing you got a shot with a fireball. <laughs> Your skin is a singe. You My fucking body! <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to I'm trying to see what happens after this. <laughs> uh oh. Oh boy. So okay. nothing. I'm just down. Kamuna is here and he after the distraction was over. Continues, um, uh, continues the ritual on the wall. He walks over here to this one, and he just, he brings it up to the front and puts he just attaches it to the wall. Vona, your turn. Let's go, baby. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah, one sixty and two fail. One no, one failure. One failure, one no, success. He bit you. Oh, he. That's right. Yep. Maverin, what will you do? I just observe the ritual. Okay. The priests continue. If these weren't Andra. temporary HP characters, I wouldn't bite you. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> I mean, you don't know that these could be like critical to the rest of the story. Kamuna <laughs> comes up here, brings the soul with him. Oh Lord, something's happening. Oh, no. Okay, so what happens right now is the wall slowly crumbles and opens up. You see, since uh, Vona is still alive, that behind the wall you see five giant monsters, hundreds of feet tall, sleeping in stasis. You know this from, uh, from the books you have read, that these are the older dragons. Elder dragons. So basically, you guys in your vision witnessed the release of all the older, elder dinosaurs in this realm into the wild. Kamuna tries to control them, but they do not listen. So, so basically, what happens right now is these monsters, these creatures, are slowly awakening from. Your slumber, and then they destroy orcas. Uh, they literally fly out, run out. All the buildings crumble around you. 
you witness the possible end of the future. So, based so Kamuna is very happy with the results. He wants the chaos. He wants to, but it takes a while for him to control them. So over time, he's gonna be researching with the treasure found here on how to control each and every one of these elder dinosaurs. <coughs> Vision ends. You know that all these animals are in the wild, but in the future, you don't hear much about them. You wonder what happened to them after all these years. But you know they're set out there somewhere in the jungle, in the water, in the mountain. Oh, boy. And that is the prequel. Yay. Ooh, shiny. You wake up in the morning in the prison awaiting what will happen next. You see one of your friends in the side. So Say that again, your mic cut out. I saw you notice your friend in the corner. It did it oh, again. Man. It's as soon as you get, you notice your friend in the corner and then your mic cut out again. I hate you. No, seriously, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not joking. Yeah, for real. It actually cut out there you twice. You notice your friend sleeping in the corner, sound asleep. Okay. Mm-hmm. Then he I'll, bites I'll my neck. <laughs> <laughs> but guys, that is a, of Ixalan. That is the prequel of Orcaza. In the future now, you, you're you in jail still. You had a vision of what happened in the past. It might be a key of what is a wait. What is to await your future. Mm. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Well, now you wonder what happened to your ancestors. Did Vona, the butcher of Magan, survive? Did Anger of Heshram Brute live through <laughs> were brute force? <laughs> Did I connive my way out of that just situation? just smart little <laughs> Maverin, the dust apostle, just sneak his way out. You know, I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna make a bold statement here and say that <laughs> no. <laughs> Call me crazy, and I could be wrong, but it seems, at least as of right now, that Vona with two failed death saves probably yeah. not gonna make it. Considering a bunch <laughs> of dinosaurs just burst out and probably trampled his body as they were going. Probably, yeah. probably not. But again, that remains to be seen. I'm excited. That was a great, uh, great yeah. episode. Woo. I am very excited. Yeah. When uh, when are we playing next? Next weekend? Uh, well, I'm gonna try for Sunday. Okay. Well, who knows what happens? But yeah. next time it's gonna be. I'm gonna put it for 3 p.m. so that we start earlier. Okay. So we don't have to rush anything. Okay. I'm actually. Kyle just came home not too long ago. Let me. I can ask him if he's free. Kyle, are you free Sunday at three? Three. He says, "Yeah." Okay. Well, I have no. You may miss the prequel. Oh yeah, you missed the prequel. <laughs> We just finished. It was great. I did. <coughs> <laughs> he asked if I recorded it, and then he said, great. So he may, uh, he may tune in and, and watch that. Uh, great job, Woo. Guys, great to meet you. I'm loving this. Uh, I'm loving the party dynamic we got of no healers, uh, a guy who gets beat up real bad, and a guy who hits things with a stick. Yeah. Uh, the Suryalis know the... Uh, the players you played with they are archived and you have no more access no no but the axe <laughs> all right guys yeah. who uh, knows you might find it again i i have gotten some mother aggro <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> i'll, I'll see, see you guys next later. week at the latest all right bye, bye guys it was fun bye.